What is up, YouTube? We are back at it again with more Kingdom Heart 3. Um, friendly reminder, on both the stream archive and the main channel, there is a new button um, underneath the uh, video. Uh, it says join. It is a $1 a month um, membership thingamabob that YouTube has that I set up. Uh, apparently, YouTube has um, like chat badges and emotes now. So, like, all the same badges and a couple of the emotes from here are now available on YouTube, like, on any comment section, I think, and, like, the live chats. So, if you would like to support me, especially if you use, like, an ad block here and you don't feel good about it on my channel, instead of, uh, maybe instead of whitelisting me, consider just doing the $1 a month tier, because I get 70% of that. Is YouTube Premium good for creators? It is. It's probably actually better than the fucking $1 a month thing, so if you have YouTube Red, don't even worry about it. But... If you want badges like we have here next to your name on YouTube and emotes, then consider that. Let's get started. I'm going to be reminding you guys that at the start of um, these streams going forward. You can't stream on YouTube since you're a Twitch partner. That, um, first of all, they rolled that back. And second of all, that wasn't even um, the problem. The, the the thing that was in the contracts for Twitch partners is that you couldn't do two at the same time. You couldn't dual stream. Which I wouldn't want to do anyways, but... Um, the specific clause was that you couldn't do two at the same time, but it, one or the other was fine. And they didn't even fucking enforce it anyways. So it like, wasn't even a problem. Let me land in Twilight Town just so I can get my bearings. I don't know where we are right now. Last thing we did was... um. Skull, Arendelle is done. And I was just thinking that we're gonna have to get if I want Oathkeeper and Oblivion, we're gonna have to get all the fucking um I if this poster's got one of them promo games. All of the emblems yeah. for Oathkeeper at least. But I could just settle for just Oblivion. I was thinking about what my strategy is gonna be for limit cut. And I don't know if um I'm gonna get Oathkeeper and Oblivion. Oh shit, I just got pulled into this. I don't know if I'm gonna get Oathkeeper and Oblivion, or just use Oblivion and like some other Keyblade. Like, take the time to actually get the emblems. I don't know if I'm gonna wanna do that. I was thinking I would just use Oblivion and Hero's Crest, or whatever it's called. Is there anything hey, good for doing this fucking emblem. world? Yeah, I know you get the stupid Keyblade that nobody Let's gives a fuck see. about. I guess I'll get these. Where's the third one? It's on the pumpkin. Let's see. I just got a ribbon for that. Okay, that's cool as fuck. Vegetables. Keyblade ingredients. Alright, I'm out of here then. I just wanted those emblems. Yeah, also for the YouTube frogs, um, for a while now, for like a, a couple of weeks now, my YouTube videos have had 1440p as an option next to them. Now, this video is actually being recorded at 1440p instead of just being like upscaled to 1440p for better bit rate. Now it's like actual 1440p. So like, this is like, the quality that you're going to get out of the stream archives is like what I'm looking at on my screen right now. Insane fucking high quality. Like recording tier quality instead of just fucking stream quality. So make sure to enable 1440p. Even if you only have a 1080p monitor, you still get better uh, bitrate out of it. Oh, I don't have like any money right now. What happened? I'm not gonna get uh, Ultima this playthrough. I'm just turning these in. Rat Keyblade, which one's that? Ratatouille? It's actually the better version of that Keyblade, isn't it? Because it has a better finisher. 
And it has glide on it too. Fuck, I've been upgrading this though. It, upgrades are free at the end of the game. Um, I will get the rat keyblade, I think, actually. How early can I do that? Hey, radio blaster. Cool. We brought some ingredients. How do you get the rat keyblade? You have to get um every one of everything in the bistro. Yeah, that's what I thought. Not only do you get Starlight for free if you have a Union Cross account linked, but also like you get it at the start of the game, which is kind of crazy to think about. I don't have any other options here. Oh well. Perfect every bistro. Okay, perfect thing. Everything is free because I have the easy code. Hashtag awkward time to find out. Heart tag. I'll, I'll worry about the rat blade later. Just save my upgrades for um, going forward for like Oathkeeper and Oblivion and shit. Oblivion I'll get for free just for doing crit, which is nice. Oh, this keyboard has Lucky Strike on it. I didn't know. Now you don't need to use Favorite Deputy for Deputy. You don't have to use Favorite Deputy exclusively for um, synth grinding anyway. Look at that. I didn't realize that fucking Epic Games privilege right there. Interesting. Favorite deputy. Five stars in the beach bistro. Doesn't that require um you to like do everything though to get five star? When do I even get the rest of the um Let's see. the meals to make there? Thoughts on the canon social media? Um It was inevitable. Gummy phone is cool, I think. I didn't get this emblem. You need to find the ingredients. Oh, I guess so. It's a weird way to get fucking recipes. Man, I would like this, this theme a lot more if it weren't for this world being a fucking joke. This is so exciting! Above you! Look out! I'm just waiting for that fucking emblem to pop. Property yeah, prices in this place must be crazy. On the screen? I don't know. Let's check it out after the movie's over. They gentrified the whole fucking back alley here. They only used to have bees back here, and now look at this shit, dude. All they used to have back here was bees. This one over and over. And they put a whole fucking theater back here, dude. All they had back here was bees. Let's see. Bees. Yeah. I got that, didn't I? Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you sound excited. I actually haven't had my full monster today. Just yet. I I just cracked it open like a minute ago. So I might be not a hundred percent yet. New emote by the way, Stuart in all caps. Not with a E W, but with a U. New 7 TV emote, rather. That's awful, guys. That's rough. That's a video of him reviewing. Um, Stu. Um, Hidden Valley Ranch with BBS in the background. Hover over that emote and look at the screen he has on the top right of that emote. Malbard, for the two months of sub, thank you very much. I got this, didn't I? Let's see. I got everything here except for like one. Doesn't this place have like a emblem that's like here's one? Let's see. I'll help you find the next one. I bet we'll find some ingredients around. one is this? Are the good flavors of rehab? I've had tea and lemonade mix. That's the that's the standard one. That's a good one. That's the Arnold Palmer flavor. 
or rather Arnold Palmer Arnold Palmer as a concept is just black tea and lemonade that's what rehab is essentially but with caffeine is that the tram it is the tram you're right I'm waiting on my McDonald that's a good idea I should get McDonald after the stream if it's still open by the time I'm done Enrun, with the 17 months, thank you. It's silent 17. Oh! Remember how last stream I was talking about how we might have to do something about channel point rewards around here? I might have to, like, scale them back in some way. How would you guys feel if they became, like, the alerts for resubs and donations? Just, like, a random one out of all of the, like, top rewards we have? How would you guys feel about that? I think that would be a good way to kind of rein in the rewards just because I make videos out of these videos. I, ma I make videos out of these streams more often now. How about the mod ones? Love to think about it. I'll think about it. There it is. Let's see. Nice picture, sword. Keep bra bra? Yeah, that would be one of them. You just want to get this up? Thank you. I appreciate that. Alright, that's all the emblems here. I don't even know. It would be cool. My my Keyblade loadout would be really cool to have Oathkeeper, Oblivion, and one of the two um, shield form Keyblades. Because I want to try doing perfect parries in Limit Cut this playthrough around. Because I never did that. It was too complicated for me. On the first time around, at least. But now that I, you know... I'd like to try getting in, like, one or two fucking, like, perfect flurries on them. Bro, my McDonald's app is broken right now. I can't use the McDonald's app. I haven't been able to for, like, the past three times I've gone to McDonald's. It says that there's a order in progress, but there's not. I just can't use it. I have to fucking tell them my order every time. Alright, here we have a dilemma here. San Francisco. Don't go here. I was about to say, maybe I should come here to like abuse the higher battle level, but then I realized you can't do anything in this world until it's over. This world is one non-stop fucking set of encounters where you can't explore until the very end. So you know what? Let's just go here and just like shoot stuff on the battleship and thrive. I don't know. Also, let's try and shoot some rocks. For some damn damicus. Also, hold on. I forgot. I have gummy ship um, things. I forgot about the special weapon. It's like a bomb. Which one of these is the best for shooting the meteors? Let's do this one, fuck it. It's gummy, who knows. This one looks pretty good. <laughs> just a hunch. I think that one might be good. It'd be cool if there's just a nuke. Just an AoE nuke around you that just, like, kills all the things. Do donuts work in this game? I I made a video about it. It kind of does. Not nearly as well as 2, but the general philosophy behind it still works. Like, enemies shoot at your center of mass. And you can uh, evade a lot of shit because of that, but the gummies are way more open-ended here, and there's a lot more attacks that just hit you no matter what if you don't dodge them. So it doesn't work it as well. But it's still good, pretty decent. Oh fuck. Is money grinding on that ship good? I don't know. The game doesn't readily tell you how much money you get when you slide through those things. That and the fucking frozen slider, I've always wondered. How do I stop? There we go. My shit is still recharging. Oh well. 
Thank God for the gummy easy code. That just makes this so much nicer. Rounded, rounded, rounded. Stop giving me that. The purple crystals? I don't remember. I think you just have to shoot him for a while. Yeah, Mithril Gem. Those are kind of rare, aren't they? I like the gummy in this is whimsical. Yeah, the gummy in this is great. I was thinking last night, I was like, damn, the world map, like, the way that it looks is really stupid. And then I realized that, like, the reason why the world map, like, on this doesn't look as cool as, like, 1 and 2 and, like, BBS is because this is the actual world map. It's flying around like this. And I was like, oh, that makes sense. And the best part about the gummies in this game is that the way that it's open-ended like this is you can just, like, skip the whole thing. If you don't want to do it in your replays, just pick, especially with the easy code, just like slap on the easy code, grab the golden highland, and just like beeline it to your objective. And then you can skip the fucking boss fights by mashing the photo button and like frame one it and then skipping the boss. It's really, really cool. Have I gotten a single fucking Damicus? A damn Damicus around these parts? No. I haven't ever fought the, like, the final boss of the gummies, the fucking Einhander reference. Can I do that now? I guess not. I don't even know where that is. I've never done it. I could probably do it with this ship with the easy code. It's probably in the last one, actually. This is the second one. Yeah, maybe I'll check that out. One of the reasons why doing a Plat Trophy Marathon would be cool is because I've never actually, like, 100% in this game, so I've, there's still a lot of shit in this game that I haven't seen. Like, I've never done all of the fucking... the phone, the gummy phone games, the Game & Watch bullshit. Though so there's a clip of me trying it. Um, never done 100% of the gummy stuff. There's still a lot of stuff I haven't really seen in this game. And I've never even unlocked every Keyblade normally, like Classic Tone and all that stupid shit. So I guess that would be neat one day to, to see. I don't think I've gotten any damn Damicus. I got a Mythal Crystal just now though. That's like even better. That's like the best one they can get. Another gem. There's a damn Damicus. Alright, that's all I wanted to see. Just one. Damn Damicus. You got two. Oh, base. Thanks. Do you feel like you've opened up to Cage 3 more? A little bit. But I also still hate a lot of the omissions and missed opportunities and also just like sloppy gameplay. Though I feel a lot better at it and a bit more open-minded. Also, yeah, a lot of the music fucking sucks. That hasn't changed. Also, here's like the worst enemy in the whole game. Hey, I love guarding and attacking. Yeah, well. Who knows if they're gonna hit you or not this time. Oh, there he goes. Anchor Raider, that's his dumb fucking name. My fucking eyes, bro. It's so bright in here.
Also, this isn't even technically a vanilla playthrough. If this were vanilla, I would not have this combo utility right now. I'd be doing this basic stupid fuck swings all day long still. Keep that in mind. This isn't, like, perfectly faithful to the way that the actual game is. I'd be hating this shit a lot more but if I didn't have these moves right now. Most annoying thing about this enemy, ironically, is why is like how they don't hit you half the time. Good thing I used that. I should have just like I don't know why I was just standing there with my format. I should have saved my form as much as I could. Wow, I love counterattacking. Wow, I love counterattacking. I shouldn't be saying that. I'm using counter kick right now. That would actually hit if I were using the other ones. Ironically. I was rem I remembered when I was fighting Skull on stream like two years ago. I was using counter t counter counter kick against Skull because the description says it's useful on far away enemies, but you actually can hit Skull consistently with the other reprisals and not counter kick. Let me put on counter slash. That one is actually it actually has a bigger hitbox, and it's you know frame one. Counter kick is great in um, limit cut, so I can just kind of use it for everything. Jack said to head for the island straight in front of us. Counter kick is great defensively because it lets you chain your iframes from the reprisal into an air slot because it puts you in the air. You can also chain the multi hit of the counter kick with your iframes into another guard, so that you can like perfectly time another perfect guard. It's just that it sucks in a lot of places, like where I just was. This game would be so much better if you had three buttons for your reprisal. Imagine you could press X for slash, square for impact, and triangle for kick, and then circle for wrist dodge in the wrist dodge scenario. That'd be cool. That would be ideal. You'd get, like, you'd be able to do everything. McDonald's fries are so fucking good. They fucking... They made history with that, with those fries. Oh, shit. Forgot where I was. It's okay, I know the strats. Also, I have Master Treasure Magnet, so I can get health back, like, always. I think this area gives you Master Treasure Magnet in general, just so you can always get health back here. Here's the strat. Get up his ass and shoot torpedoes. And dodge that, ideally. This isn't going to be nearly as bad because I'm, like, a decent level. Oh, never mind. I, I lost my Koopa coin. This is going to be bad. I lost my Koopa coin. This is going to be bad. I forgot. Here's another awful thing about this game. The way that it fucking does not give you any space between major events like this. I was complaining about San Francisco being one forced fight into another forced fight into another gimmick section. This is the same. Imagine coming here in Cage 3 Rando being like, oh, I'm just gonna like get a bunch of EXP for free off of like using the ship, and then you get pulled into this. Like, say you just barely managed to get past the fucking anchor dudes, and you're like, okay, now it's time to get a bunch of EXP for free in my Cage 3 Rando. And then you're here. You're fucked. You can't leave. It's over. You're done. You're fucking dead.
I did not get hit by that. Fuck you. I, you know what I forgot you can do. I wonder if you can get to a four. Hold on. You can't even build meter. Never mind. You're not even allowed to build meter here. I should have at least gotten one arrow for that. You know what? I have one HP. Better not fuck this up. This is the wrong keyblade for this. You can reflect. Don't only allowed to ever use it in fucking Genix, dude. They hate Sora. Wow, cool, full motion is so cool, yeah. What does this even do? What does this even contribute to the fight? I don't remember, did I... Did I have a section in the Cage Tree Experience where I killed this guy with, um... No, I, I, I shot torpedoes at him, jumped off, and took a selfie in the finisher cam. That's what happened. I tried to... I don't think I've ever talked about this. I tried my... The hardest I could- what is happening to me right now? What? I tried the hardest I could to do a shot lock on one of the little dudes with Ultima weapon, Ultima Keyblade, close to this guy so that the Ultima shot lock would kill him, and it, I couldn't get it to work. So I just did the torpedo thing instead. But I just like could not nail the shot lock close enough to him for it to like hit. Oh, I forgot the ship can die during this. Yeah, no fun allowed. It might be possible, just extremely finicky, especially if it, you're trying to like make it the finishing blow. But I guess you just use the easy code for that. Which I think I did when I did the torpedo thing. I don't know. I don't remember. It was a while ago now, wasn't it? Bitch. Oh, I see. You're supposed to... Never mind. Never even mind what I was supposed to say. What I was gonna say there. That was that was your that was the opportunity to like just sit on him and mash circle and like get all the torpedoes. That was the opportunity, but then I just got sniped by whatever. Like the what this, the speed run does here. But never mind. I guess I just eat shit. Yeah, the billion fucking little dudes that spawn here and just like snipe you out of nowhere, off screen you, make this a nightmare and critical, but I think you gotta do is you just gotta like, if you're low on health, you just get off and then use a potion or whatever. What's the highest DPS you can get here? It's gotta be torpedoes. Right? Yeah, almost certainly. He's gotta get up his ass and use torpedoes of his ass. I'll 
all day long. Oh, here we go. No, 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 no. Okay. That didn't do as much as I thought it would. I like no time to take advantage of that. The big one's still firing at the shield. They literally looked at days and they were like, hmm, how can we one up this in terms of shittiness? Can you believe it? It's like the exact same setup. I'm gonna die if I okay. Yeah. I even switch key plates, I can. Yeah. I won't need the easy code, I can do this. Unless I keep getting fucking hit like that. Nice. Or... Dipping my fries into the milkshake? That's a good strategy. I've never done that with McDonald's fries, so they might be too salty for that IMO. I stop getting fucking sniped by bullshit everywhere. Thanks. Maybe I should try killing the little dudes. Maybe they'll actually die for long enough. You get health orbs for killing them. Look at that. Look at the. Look at the spawn in. Look. Fucking bees, dude. There's bees everywhere. I have to worry about the black girl getting fucking shot right now. Look at the look at the damage meter, dude. Do they do they have to does that have to be a problem here? He's a massive right now. when you have KH3. Best of both worlds. James N64 with the 11. Thank you. Oh, I'm supposed to be pressing something. Yeah, fries and shake are really good. I, I haven't tried it with McDonald's fries. I've done it with Culver's fries, though. Got a little place in the Midwest called Culver's. Is that a worldwide chain? Or is that a Midwestern thing? I don't remember. It's a Midwestern fast food place that is like... Like milkshake oriented. I <laughs> moved to the west coast. And I miss Culver's with that call. Culver's is it's pretty nice. I would say best place for dipping your fries into the milkshake. That's for sure. Nice. Without a Koopa coin, even. Take this. Thumbnail for the VOD right there. Orange Joe? No, I've never heard of it. Is that like Joe Rogan when he goes on an all-meat carnivore, uncooked meat diet? Orange Joe? Orange juice and coffee? Is that a joke? Or is that like, secretly... That's gotta be a joke, there's no way. Omori reference. Omori has lagless menus and menu memory. Did you know? Grab. Yeah, you know, I don't think I mind this world as much as others do. At least once you get past the ruler of the sky.
Too bad he can't use sea water. That'd be a funny spell. Hey, Master Ring. I'll give that to Jack while I'm here so that you can do team effort. Though this world does exacerbate the problem of dying on critical mode once you've done like 40 million things in one giant room with no checkpoints. I Before this game came out, like a solid year before this fucking game came out, I've been saying they should put little lamps in the game or some item, some thing on like in, the bun in places that like you go past it and it makes a little jingle like doo -doo, and it's like, oh yeah, you got a little checkpoint, a mid room checkpoint. They didn't do that. I forgot that we have the boss fight with the f stupid fucking big thing. Never mind, this world sucks. Also, you can switch keyblades, which is cool. Unless you pause the game. No goddamn grand magic under here either. Also, this chanting sucks. Nice. Really? How do I not have any potions? Party members are just burning through them like crazy, what the hell? Donald has a new slot. I still, I still have the fire boost on it. That's actually good to have here. I'll keep that on for a while. Are there any keyboards to get fire boost? You still going for Oathkeeper? Yeah, probably. Most likely. I would like to have Oathkeeper, Oblivion, and um, one of the two shield form blades for Remind. When I first played this game, I burnt a specific candle. Now when I think of it, I light it. I don't light it anymore. I have a couple... candles slash deodorants slash flavors of monster, uh, flavors of axe that, um, have that association with flavors of axe. I should put on all my ethers if I'm gonna go into that fight. Ryan Pan has fire boost? Damn, I should get that. It's a late game keyblade though. Yeah, scents do have the biggest association with memory. Oh, I've got spell upgrades. Wow. I'll just keep arrow on. Tents are great in this game just because they don't require a billion inputs to use. It's my highest magic keyboard. Certainly not four, it's gotta be something better. Eight? Oh yeah, there we go. That's the keyboard to use for this stupid shit. In fact, let me just put on every fucking magic accessory I could do for this fight. I'll keep that on for the, the effect. Never mind, fuck that effect. How 
How much cuisine is left? Ten minutes? Yeah, okay, we're good. Thank God, save point. Are there any Twitch accounts you're parasocial with? That's a very funny uh, question. I mean, I've got streamers that I'm friends with, like mutually. And there are streams that I like, uh, like a higher amount, but I wouldn't say parasocial. Let's, let's rephrase the question. I, my favorite streamers that are like big streamers that I like, I guess take advice from, would be Germa985 and avoiding the puddle. Oh, look at the damage. Okay. Right, you have to dodge that. There's also this attack, you just have to like, swim really fast. Don't do that attack ever, it's like the one thing you don't want to do. I'm not committing to any full combos right now, just doing that. I think that scales off of your magic, which... Helps it here, I guess. Alan, why are you dead? You've got fire here, don't you? Oh yeah, whoop. we're doing just fine in this fight thanks to the stats. That's something I really... Oh, fuck. That doesn't kill me, does it? Something I really wanted to make sure I didn't neglect in this playthrough is stats. Because I already know that playing this game at with level 1 tier damage is miserable, so... Just taking the extra time to, you know, get the plus 4 levels that I would have had... Helps a lot. Helps a lot, especially if you know how to abuse EXP incentive. I don't think using the term parasocial in a way that isn't like objectively negative is a good thing to do. That term, you should only reserve that if you're like using it as a derogatory. But, I mean, there is a middle ground between parasocial and, like, you know, just having a healthy interaction with a streamer. What's the word for that? Being normal? No, no. It's not inherently bad, though. True. Wait, no, you said it is. I can't read today, sorry. Yeah, no, that's what I meant. Parasocial. When I said it, it was, like, a derogatory. Something that's parasocial is an inherently bad thing. But, like, not everything is. I don't know. Parasocial? Parasite? Like, think about it. That's not a good word. Para? But anything that starts with that root is not gonna be a good time. Parachute? Definitely don't want one of those. Seize yours to explore. Don't let this chance sail by, mates. Do you get cuisine bonuses when you're on the ship like this? Are they active? The XP incentive will go crazy here. Get up! I enjoyed that! This ship is great! 
I'll say. She's got nothing on the pearl, mates. No. Hear my call. Enjoy the locker, mates. I enjoy ship combat. That one fight where you're in the fucking... Now, the only thing I don't like about pirate combat is are the boss fights where the dudes are disappearing. That part kind of sucks. And the, um... The fucking tentacle boss fight. It's kind of whatever. Explore the high seas. Don't get pulled into a fucking... Another event immediately. Explore the high seas, yeah. I wanted to go and pick up the fucking... Let's try those cannons. Whatever. All right. Explore the high seas. You are now allowed to explore for 30 seconds. What the fuck I ever did. I was just saying that I kind of like this. All right. Never mind, I guess. Yeah, the term parasocial gets tossed around a lot, kind of like unconditionally, but um, really just the defining factor, the informal defining factor is just if people are normal and chill about the way this interaction works. That's really just the defining factor. It ends here. Assassin's Creed Black Flag to me was always like, oh yeah, that's what the PS4 is capable of right there. That game, when I first saw it on launch of like the PS4, I was like, whoa, 60 FPS. Let's do this. And like every other fucking PS4 game proceeded to disappoint me. Looking at you, Bloodborne, fucking 60, 30 FPS. Nice looking game, though, with Jesus. Explore the open seas. No, you're wrong. Knack. Yeah, okay. I didn't think about that one. Yeah, the two games that were like positive, um, positive impressions on the PS4 were Battlefield 4 and Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Just being like decent looking 60 FPS games, I was like, well, this is a step up right here. Battlefield 4 owns. I miss that style of Battlefield game. They decided to ruin the fucking... The, the shit that they had going for them. When they made... When they decided to clout chase with Call of Duty and, like, go back to making stupid fucking World War One and World War Two games that no one gives a fuck about nowadays. Look at the damage. Jeez Louise. Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4 just having crazy shit like, oh yeah, if you're in a jet fight, you can like get out of your jet, shoot a fucking RPG at the other dude that's like on your tail, and then board their jet, or board, get back into your jet after doing that. And they were aware of how like, only in Battlefield, hashtag only in Battlefield, they were aware that that was their game, and then they ruined it. 
And then they went back to that style of gameplay, kinda, but then it was fucking Battlefield, like, 2043, and it sucked ass because it was, like, half-baked as fuck. It's all over. Like, they had the best shit ever. And it was only gonna get better with new consoles and, like, fucking 64 versus 64 player teams, and then, you know. Cool reprisal. I definitely enjoy doing counter kick there off of my red fucking block, dude. I'll just go back to sniping everything with fucking the nuke. For I still fucking counter kick on, I can't really benefit from that. Oh, this try is gonna hit anytime soon. Oh wow. Still have the magic setup, so I might as well do this. Another Arosa. Good thing I upgraded this Keyblade. Oh, it's not hitting anything. I'm gonna run out of this. I need to get my master treasure magnet back on, that'd be nice. I'm regretting that Donald doesn't have cure right now, equipped. Alright, here we go. I could've just done that right away. Oh. Oh, I, I mistimed it. The amusement attack sucks ass. I'm using the ability that turns them off entirely, this bad boy right there. Let's fix my setup. I'm not supposed to have these on anymore. I never use the base game finishers, they just feel weird as fuck. They're probably better to have on, but they feel weird as fucking lame. I'd rather just do a combo consisting of combo pluses and like the basic remind moves like that. I can do this combo. Take this. Just enough height for that. My meter is profiting right now. Fire. 
the tiny bit I have left on my staff right now is profiting. I fucked up though, I shouldn't have done that. Never mind, it's still working. Easy code merits. What? I'm not using easy codes. Hey, second chance. Look, look at how much my meter has profited since almost losing it earlier. Yeah, this shit is infinite if the enemies are still alive. Alright, here's Tweedledee and Tweedled Dickhead. I don't know if I'd call that tech, it's just kind of abusing the fact that, um, that move only dispels the clones on the finisher, and that's just you just, like, not doing the finisher. If you just don't do the finisher, then they just don't go away. See, you never fucking know when they're, you never know who they're targeting. You just don't know. Because not only are they, gonna, are they gonna miss you sometimes, but there's also like four other fucking enemies. So you just don't know where they're going. You don't keep the EXP now. I guess I do? Look, second chance. Alright, so that's not a total wash. That enemy sucks so much, dude. But here's what we're gonna do. Damn, Lucky Strike is expensive in this game. No, not a second chance, so that's not gonna happen again. Also, still don't have my fucking. I should have bought my, um. Koopo coin again. I forgot when I had the opportunity. Okay. Ooh, this dumb fucking moves. Can you jump? Oh, there you go. Never mind. Wow, real, real interesting. Attack, just like spin around. Oh, and here comes the AoE nuke, yeah. Real innovative. I guess you do keep the experience though, which is interesting between deaths here. It's really unusual. Look at them fucking miss when I'm trying to get the guard, dude. That's the most infuriating shit ever. Why don't you fucking do that when I'm 1 HP? When you want to get the fucking guard on them, they miss. When you don't, you get fucking hit. Really cool. I really should be using basic fire from that and not fire uh, be cheaper. Yeah. I'm not really doing that much, at least on the big guys. I can just tank that. Team attack is always worth it. Get out of jail for free card right there. Team effort, rather. Finish this stupid thing. Yeah. 
Yeah, I want to go to Sandbar Island, but you're only allowed to go there once the entire fucking world visit is over. They, like, rug pull you. They're like, oh yeah, go explore the open sea. And then you get it pulled into this, which gets pulled into that, which gets pulled into fucking going to Port Royal, and then after that, then you can finally go and fucking finish the, like, explore before you finish the world, right before you finish the world, so stupid. San Francisco does the same thing, but worse. It's so bad. My food wore off. Oh no. My fucking MP bar sucks now. Just save that for if I was low. Stop using counter kick here. Fuck. Enemy sucks ass. Remove it from the game. Dude. At least I'm leveling up. I'm bringing these for, like, the end of the fight. Just saving my fucking shimmering drops for literally that. Oops, counter slash. It doesn't matter. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna guard and attack that enemy. That, it's a mistake to do that with any fucking finisher, any reprisal. I'm just gonna use those refocusers for the last dudes and just blow them up without ever interacting with them. That's like what you're supposed to do in this game. Remember what I was saying earlier about those guys? They only fucking hit you when it's about to like ruin the fight at the very end. The only time they ever do it. I don't even know if Counter Slash would work there. They they fly backwards so quickly. You don't get anything for guarding them. You don't get shit for guarding them, it's like the most dangerous attack in the whole fucking game. How many potions? I should just do that. Yes, you might. You probably would have some time for a counter slash there, I guess. Because you have three fucking health bars, so it doesn't even matter. Dude, the clones have Drip Sora. The clones are Drip Sora and not uh, Pirate Sora. Look, they have the hat and everything. How does that work? That water went nowhere. Randomly getting fucking... Where are you shooting? Oh, it's them. Twiddle D and Twiddle Dickhead. This attempt went really fucking well, apparently. Gameplay right here. I get hit one time and press the triangle. Oh, my water is gone. Oh, well. I got robbed. Panicked.
Okay. Yeah, that's optimal right there. Just fucking cycle through your nukes at the right time. You got so much time to fucking drink my monster. I remember first time I played this game, I was I was fucking pressing those buttons. I was like, oh, I got so much time to like take a sip of my monster. Magnificent. I'm gonna use magic flash for a little bit. When the fuck do you get, um, last charge in this mod? I know you get it for, like, one of these worlds. Very fitting. Very cute. Very fitting for that finisher. I'll try counter slash. I got dunked as soon as I used that fucking finisher. Dark Bay Max or last charge. Pretty fitting, I guess. Do I have the treasure? Yeah, I do. Crab collection, I didn't hate this part of the game. Do I want Cure Converter right now? I think I want 3-3 three, three Star Charm instead right now. Do you know the fastest crab route? Not really. I just like hitting things. I handle it, I get it done. Yeah, this area runs like dog ass on even a PS4 Pro. I do remember. That made it worse, for sure. Magic Flash overhated. At least this is this is Remind Magic Flash with a like an actual hitbox that you can see. It's got too much wind up, I guess. It's like a KH1 finisher, like a FM1 finisher. These enemies avoid my shit. Fuck it. I'll see. Did you see the, the two arrows I was working on? They're gone now. They're gone now because I didn't, you know, change keyblades or something. I didn't get those arrows in time. That's one of the stupidest things about this already dumb system. Is that the arrows you're working on go away as soon as you pop a form. It's gone. It's over. Oh fuck, speaking of over. Deleted those enemies. Is there a mod that at least turns the meter into a bar that like actually makes sense? Does that exist yet? I wouldn't install that right now. Does that exist? Yeah. Just like how the pirate ship has a has a normal meter. Does that exist? Please, someone get on. Look up the fucking look up the nexus right now. Yeah. Thank you, money converter. This is all thanks to Goofy's ring right now. It'd be nice if the crabs had, um... They worked like any other orb. 
and you could like pick them up with like treasure magnet. As it is, you have to walk over them as if it were like KH1 without close. any draws. Take the one thing I'll say bad about it. Less RV and damage in the last charge, that's interesting. Counterpoint. Last charge is cool. The crabs are getting away. Also, I don't think anybody noticed it, but I fixed the kind of like mild like micro stuttering that this game was having yesterday. I got my settings a little better, and now it's like not really doing that nearly as much. Refocus would make this a an action command to boost your focus bar. I'll try that on a modded replay. I want to do a personalized modded KH3 playthrough with like every mod that looks like it'd be cool. There's there's an animation overhaul that recently came out that like really enhances like all of the forms in a way that like looks pretty natural. So I'll add that to the list. This keyblade kind of shreds. Everything it does is really good. My computer is really good right now. I'm kind of just realizing that as I'm I'm playing this game at max settings, 1440p, 60fps, while streaming and recording it, both with the NVIDIA NVEC chip. And I'm recording it at 24 megabits per second, which is like the maximum that YouTube can process for 1440p videos. Feeling pretty good about that. Yeah, no, uh, Last Charge is pretty cool, but Magic Flash is kind of overhated. Even if it's technically better, I think most people are still just going to use Last Charge because it, like, feels better. But yeah, I do kind of agree that Magic Flash is a little overhated. It definitely didn't get a good rep from being, like, the only one you get. It's like, it was presented as, like, the big finisher in vanilla Cage 3 and it didn't even have like the visual effect on it that it has now. So it was just like the little sparkles and like it blew everything up around you Thank you. in a small radius. Now it has at least that circle. I'm not going the right direction. Now I'm going like minimum speed right now. There we go. How far can you get in here with this fucking sled? Probably very far if you like do it perfectly. Nice. I've seen. Uh, I think I did a playthrough of this once with the the remind ability integration with MP. And I think the amount that that gives you with cuisine and the remind MP bonuses is pretty nice. I'm not using it right now just because I want to kind of experience how much this game gives you by design, but I'll add that to the list of um, personalized mods for that playthrough. I'll do eventually. Hey, Buster Band. Is that good? What's better in this game? Percentage or flat defense? Resistance or defense? Yeah. 
Nice loop, by the way. Flawless fucking loop. Ship it to the AAA Square Enix game. Nice song. Resistance is better. So, even if it's a 3 defense differential, I would want 20% instead of 10. What about in this particular circumstance right now? Because this is multiplicative, so it's going only by, like, 7%. I give that to like Donald, I guess. I love Radio Blaster. I think the AoE could be a bit bigger though. That needs to be a cage three sized AoE, but it's like a cage two sized AoE. In fact, they might even be smaller than fucking round break. There's a lot of things I like about this game. Don't put me in the hater category. Have I ever made a Kingdom Hearts game tier list? If I did, it was like years ago. Okay. I didn't kill any of the crabs. <laughs> nice finisher, dude. Can't even kill some crabs. Bro, these fuck these barrels are like the strongest enemy in the game. What? There we go. I don't. It was like it was like deflating the. It must have been the wall. It was like fucking up the limit. The bitrate killer. Don't kill me. I'm in the void. I'm about to make close. contact with the fucking... The Bloodborne eye thing, dude. Wow. Where's my fucking meter? My my situation meter is gone. My situation meter, if only. My fucking... Focus, you know what? How's it still recharging from earlier? Why does that do so much damage? What the hell? Cool. Get them out of here. I don't want to get sniped by them. I have to redo this entire area. You would have to do redo the entire thing if you died there, right? This game does work like that. What's making that cannon move? I'm not going in there for that. Fuck that. Yeah, this game has a lot of things about it that are just genuinely good, but then one of the worst things that's in this game will just destroy you and your mood. Like the fucking anchor dudes. Or the fact that all the worlds are structured like shit and don't let you like explore after you until you've done like five fucking back to back events and sequences of like forced fights and gimmick bullshit. Maybe not gimmick bullshit, but like, at least for this world. But, um, you know. It is hella not worth it to get these crabs down here. Get me out of here. 
autosave at 300. Yeah. Then this would be like an autosave at like 100, honestly. We can get up to like 500, can't you? I cannot get my brother to play Remind for like the life of me. Because of how much he like did not care for this game playing through like all of the base game on launch. Even though, you know, he's been waiting to play this game since fucking 2006, unironically. The biggest haters of this game are people that are like pushing their 30s now that grew up with these games on PS2. Maybe it's copium on my part, but cage four is looking like it's looking like the cage three that I wanted. I wanted cage three to be like you know a fresh new fucking like new stuff going on instead of just like like before I knew before I caught up with the series before I like played BBS and all that shit got caught up with the shit that's happened since two. I wanted three to be like a whole new fucking set of shenanigans going on. But it instead was like very devoutly um, retreading like old everything. Four, on the other hand, looks like it's like pretty readily about to be what I wanted. Like new fucking logo, dude. New new logo, new font. That's a that's a statement right there. It's a massive statement. I'm excited, genuinely. Like, think about the leaps and bounds that these developers have made from, like, DDD to 3. Think about 3 to 4. Maybe it's a bit copium on my part, but I'm excited. I'm optimistic. And I'd rather be disappointed than be one of those guys that, like, spends the next two years with a frown on my face. And then, like, says, oh, I told you so. When it comes out in his bed. Okay. Oh, I got all 300, nice. Uh, let's just get the emblems now. If I can remember where some of these are. One of them is like... Yeah, I should be able to explore now that this part is over. I'm just trying to get some emblems here, because I'm going to need... I think I'm going to be getting all of them this playthrough anyways at some point, so I just want to, you know, one of them's in here. My memory for these emblems is actually very decent. You think I got all of them in this area? All of the emblems that this area has? How much money do I have? 8k? Nice. I got that one. Wouldn't you be near the cannon area? I got the one. Hold on. I may have gotten that one. I guess I didn't. I know exactly which one you mean, though. Hold on. Can you DDD this jump? Hold on. Can you DDD your way up there with Flo Mo? I don't like how Versus 13 slash Varum Rex has hijacked the series. Um. I don't know. How to respond to that. I know what you mean, but I don't know how to respond to that. I don't think it's happened yet. Yeah, you can link that MP mod. 
I, I'm not gonna look at it right now, but you can look at. Oh, and there's an emblem right here, isn't there? Like on the boat. One of these boats. There it is. Let's see. Namora had his dream robbed from him. Let him be. Maybe he'll enjoy making games again. Yeah, let him let him put as many things from his dream as possible into Cage Four. If that's the way it's gonna be, I'm yeah. I'm up for it. Put his vision into Cage Four. Maybe it'll have some fucking soul compared to this game. I want some Gravitas injected into Cage 4, and if that's how it's going to be, if that's how they're going to do it, then, yeah. I'm all for it. Aye, that's all of them. Now, to my final task. Be back in a trice. Oh. Is this part where he explodes? There, mates. Fit to sail any sea. Now, Sora, one final inquiry. Is there any particular reason you wanted this ship? Mm. Mm. Yeah! To explore the seas! Free as the wind! Good answer! You are a pirate, Captain Sora. <laughs> but Jack, why do you keep saying final? Like you're leaving. Yeah, it's because this me has run his course, mate. This you? Fucking photorealistic uh, Donald sure eyeballs, dude. What the hell? That the goddess of the sea sent here to help you lot. Of course, any me is still me. I may be duplicatable, but I'm always incomparable. The sea. She smiles upon us, Sora. Are you gonna explode Let's leave it? At that, shall we? For now, the real me has a crucial engagement. At Shipwreck Cove, where the pirate brethren will meet Becca and his lot in battle to win back our freedom. Then let us help! I'm trying to make this joke. No, it's for pirates to resolve, but not you, Sora. You're as free as the wind now, and far you'll go. There oh. we go. I was just waiting for that. What did I do in the cage tree experience? Did I like skip to him exploding like immediately? Is that what I did? Oh, I did. Man, I'm a genius. I didn't even remember that, but that was like what I had in mind when I wanted to skip there. That must be Shipwreck Cove, the place that Jack told us about. Yeah, go there, dumbass. Go there in that direction. Don't explore the open sea. You're gonna have NPCs telling you to like, go fuck yourself in about two seconds. I wonder if I can get Sora to say fuck yes. It's like the rarest thing that can happen with the dialogue quotes here. He says fire and then he says yes if you like hit a ship fast enough and you can say fuck yes. Where's the clip of that? What's up, Brenda? Let's do this! We've got a mail! Low and steady wins the race. Yeah, we need to go in prepared, or we'll only get in the way. Take this! It ends here! This is the worst thing about some of these worlds is that you just cannot explore them 
right away. You just get sucked into like four back-to-back -back events and sequences and force fights. I'm in a fight still, aren't I? Thank God. Man, why don't they just give you glide if you can do this? Just give me glide. I know it's on some keyblades that I have right now. Hope we find some ingredients around here. Like the Blizzard keyblades have um, glide if you are in their form. You know, it'd be a cool mod. It'd be cool if um, if you were out of battle, your forms did not degenerate, so you could just like enjoy the idle animations that they have and like their movement abilities. That mod certainly exists, doesn't it? Please do a super jump, I beg of you. Oh my god, did I deplete it already? I guess I did deplete my super jump. There's no way nobody has made that. Maybe it's not doable. It's gotta be. This game has abilities that only kick in when you're out of battle. Right. Aerial dodge. Andes. Hey, strength boost. It'd be funny if every chest in the world was under this, and like, there were no chests except for just all here, underwater. That'd be really funny and convenient. I know there's like, the majority of the chests in this world are here, or like, a good chunk of them. It'd be funny if it just all of them was here. Jesus Christ. Maybe I was pressing the wrong button, I don't know. Maybe that's why that just happened. Has a cool shield. Sora. I remember in that case for Rando seat, I thought I was soft locked because I didn't have the movement to do this jump, but I like barely managed to fandangle it. slide expert coming through. It's all the emblems in this island, right? Yeah. One are you gonna let me teleport there? Blocks look like they lead there up to somewhere. Yeah. Isn't there a chest on this ship, like up here? Or am I thinking of something else? Oh, there is. Hey, it's a fucking Celestrade, what the fuck? Wow. Forgot about that. That's two fire boosts. I might give that to Donald eventually if I'm not using like a spell. Oriented yeah, setup, but yeah. you know, electrums are they in the ring underwater here? I know that there's some chests yeah. there. Your life depends on it. Let's see.
Yeah, it's like straight up one of the best accessories for a while. My favorite endgame setup, at least in Limit Cut, is to have a breakthrough and then like two other phantom rings or whatever. Triple cure converter is really nice. In Limit Cut at least. Okay, yeah, I, did. I was pressing circle instead of X earlier. That's what was happening. Good chance I already swam past it in the next one. Or Chalcum? Damn Damicus? They really should have made the chests glow if you're underwater. There's no lucky emblem in this area. There's just two in the actual aisle. Those are worth getting. There's probably something else, but I'm not looking at any farther. Prepare to set sail. I got surge at least. That's nice. I got the chests too. Yeah. There's a Lucky Emblem shaped island Fall over speed. here. It is baffling to me that the part of the game that gives you, that's like, oh yeah, explore the area. It is insane to me that it doesn't give you free reign to just go anywhere you want. The fact that it sucks you into the Luxord cutscene is like ridiculous. Or the Luxord, ra the Luxord race. Is there a way around that or does it always grab you if you get like far enough away from the spawn point there? Luke Sword. Sorry, yeah, I'm not up on the proper way of saying his name now. Luke Sword. I'm calling him Luke Sword now and forever. Thank God. I might as well get these while I'm here. I kind of remember where they are. The next one. Okay, we're off. I don't remember seeing that island on the charts. What this world should have had instead of having the luxury race into the fucking Port Royal. And like all that bullshit happening. Is they should have had like three or four like events that happen between the aisles that are like part of the main story that you can go to in any order you want. And like you have to, you don't get any sense of direction other than the game telling you, oh yeah, explore. And then you like stumble across those events in whatever order you want. Including going to Port Royal. That should be something you just like drive to on your own, on your own time. People are saying Cage 4 is not going to take fucking six years like Cage 3 did. But I don't know. We're lucky we'll hear about it more this year. Where's the emblem in this place? Not that, is it? Is there an emblem on this island? Twenty twenty five is a safe estimation. Sora, over here. I, found I just hope that the fucking developers or at least the people that are in charge of posting the trailers, I hope that they wisen up and start to learn how to fucking render shit in four K. And start presenting the game with four K trailers instead of whatever the fuck they're doing, seven twenty P thirty FPS trailers right now. Or like ten eighty P ten eighty thirty awful bitrate, awful looking trailer that they posted. Square Enix drops the worst quality trailer of all time. Just pause pause that video during like moments of like high action and just like count the blocking. It's awful. I 
That doesn't work out for us. Are there actually any emblems on this island? I don't know why I always think that there is. Let's see. It's not this, is it? It's not. That's not Let's a Mickey. See. Hold on. Let's see. No. Let's see. If Cage 4 had Marvel in it, would it be like actual likenesses and like actual fucking. Like, based on actual Marvel movies, or would it be like. some bum ass representations, like the PS4 Marvel game? Album is this one? Not the whole Let's fucking see. thing, is it? Oh, it's just that. Wow. There it is. Okay, we're off. Careful. Live action remakes of the Disney movies, yeah, they would not do that. It's too far gone. There's no way that they would do that. Cannons! Fire! Yeah! Yeah! Full speed! Yeah! Full speed! I do think that the idea of using like all live action stuff would be neat though. It would be fitting to the you know the whole reality unreality thing that's happening. I can get behind that. I really don't care what their choices are. I mean has has it has anyone ever? Yeah, Spider Man would be cool as fuck. Some kind of Spider-Man would be really cool. Imagine if they had fucking, um, uh, multiverse. Miles Morales would be really sick. Imagine that world. Imagine the art style. Breaking Bad World? Real? I can imagine the minigames. Yeah, Marvel could be done very well. I know everybody has distaste in their mouths about MCU, like permeating like everything in media right now but you know at least I'm gonna be it's good that I'm doing this now instead of after because it's gonna make the fucking tentacle ship boss fight not nearly as bad how many emblems do I have here I'm trying to it would be nice to just get them all here I'm gonna be getting them all. Okay, which ones are these? I'm gonna go piss. You guys investigate which ones I need to get right now.
All right. What have we discovered? One's on the Isle of Luck. Small island with the barrels. Okay. Which one's the barrel one? Isle of Mess still. Okay. Seems simple enough. Let's see. Prepare to set sail. It's good to get this out of the way now because you get all the crabs and you level up your shit. Family Guy World. Pretty funny. Here we go. I feel like Star Wars would be something original. You know, they've been. Star Wars has been all about like original one-offs for a while now. What with the TV shows, Mando would be sick as fuck though to cover. I think Star Wars could be cool as fuck. They need to make play arts, Tetsuya and Nomura, Darth Vader, the secret boss. Now you like board this. I'll do that. I ain't making head out of boulders. You sure I don't have one that that one already? My food wore off. On the beach. Oh, okay. I think I know what that one is now. I don't fucking die to that, please. Back off. Yeah. Back off. Should just use that refocus there. Oops. I should use cure there. Oops. Oh. oh, they're jolting each other. What is this synth? What the hell was that? That sucked. Yo, drip for the 12 months, thank you. That's all I got was a high potion. That's funny. Full speed. Full speed. Full speed. All right. Speed. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Some people will argue that the Disney worlds have subtext that like relates to the themes of the overall game. But it's like reaching. It's reaching if people are trying to compare it to the way KH1 integrates its worlds into the main story. Yeah, I hope they don't poke a hole in the ship. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. And stop. 
Hey, there's a Moogle on the safe one here. You're talking about King K's K Tree video? I've never seen that. Holy shit, what the fuck happened? What happened? What the hell was that? Hey, Phantom Ring. Or Chocolate Ring. Pulsing Crystal? You know what? I need pulsing gems now, which I lost by making the crystal, which I bet that would have been whatever. Make that later, I guess. I'm gonna save my upgrade materials for a while because I just want to make sure that I have enough for like Oathkeeper Oblivion and the Ratatouille Keyblade if I do end up getting them, which I don't know if I will. Twelve hour long lore videos. I am going to start making some kind of long form content in the future. Whether that be more stream edits that are like two to three hours long potentially. Like I want to. I think I want to make this playthrough into a stream edit, just like the Cage 1 Crit Mix playthrough. I want to start doing that in general. I want to start using the shit that I... The footage I get from streaming, I want to use for videos. I, I need to be more resourceful like that. Even if that means editing my own streams and taking that time to do that. Actually, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be doing that the first time. A lot of people get editors for that kind of stuff, but... I've got enough time to do my own shit. And I prefer it that way because I fucking... My streams are like 50 gigabyte fucking videos that have three audio tracks that I can use, so trying to like give it to people to edit the videos properly would be a nightmare, so... It's just better I do it. I'm gonna go for a strength build against this guy. I'll give Donald the fucking spell boosts. Does Goofy... When does Goofy get his third accessory slot? It's just kind of ridiculous. Never? Really? He only has two? Put this in the mail. I wonder what it's good for. Oh, we gotta find those boulders. They in here? Ooh, big chest. I wonder if there's some doo-doo ass shit in there that doesn't matter. Wow, would you look at that? Just like Cage 2. Bro, that's like a million dollars right there, and it's like 10 money each. How long can he do this for? Looking for a small island off the coast of this one, okay. I gotcha.
I don't even want to fuck with that chest. Oh, I can get it. Hold on. Oh, it's the random one. Is that one always random? The one that you get in that chest? Is that random every playthrough? Like the other ones? Is that always MP haste from that chest? Too bad the amulet with the berserk charge doesn't exist in the actual game. It's in the game's files, but it's not in the game. Speaking of which, I want to do a different cuisine for Davy Jones. I just don't know which one, though. Maybe that one? I don't know. There's Berserk Charge, by the way. Whoa, good shot. I think I have a bunch of food items that aren't plus in this list. I should probably get rid of that if I'm gonna register a new favorite. Just so it's always the same. Yeah. Why not? Oh, here's how we do that, actually. Oh, it's this. Shouldn't have that either. Here we go. Get that shit out of the list. Now it's the same one every time. Same list. This one, overtime is actually goaded. You know, I'll, yeah, I'll use this one for Davy Joan. I need to buy more food to it. I just bought 80 fucking potions and I have no money anymore. I need to buy more food. Alright, that'll do for like one more set of each. Food? Where's that one? Here it is. Alright, that one I already have. Alright, good. Yeah, Final Fantasy VII is like... Final Fantasy VII Remake is like, rebuild of Final Fantasy VII. That's what they're going for, pretty explicitly. Oh, that's the island I'm looking for. People are going to be blaming Namora for things they don't like in the next parts of 7R for so long without realizing he's not even on the fucking team. Blood thinks he's on the team. Skull emoji. People use Namora as a slur. And it's pretty racist. When you boil it down. Skull emoji. What do you think a director does in a video game? Does he know? Prepare to set sail. 
Wait. The emblem. I was about to say. I was about to drive away. I was like, wait a minute. Boulders on the shore. Let's see. Goofy, move your ass. Let's see. There we go. All right, that's this world done. Okay, we're off. Alright, that's a clean sweep of this world. We don't have to ever come back here. Full speed! Alright! Full speed! I'll do the rest of the worlds once I, you know, all the other worlds are done. Right. Just so I have, like, collide and stuff. I might as well just go back later than sooner. What's the button for the camera here? There it is. That honestly is worse. Shit's in the way. Take this. Fire. Take this. Get up. Burn us if we don't make so. Nice statement, Goofy. Really saying the obvious there. You know, I think EXP incentive would have been better here. Look at the EXP I'm getting from these ships. Oh well. Overtime might be helpful against Davy Joan. Not a cutscene. I was waiting for that. Goofy. I've never heard that line before. Did I get them all? Almost. I did quite a bit. He's gonna despawn, isn't he? As soon as I activate this, he's gonna despawn. Oh, he almost got me! He almost got me with that. I know better. I thought that that was a, like a, a bug when this game first came out, them despawning like that. I thought that that was just like a fucking bug. The fact that they would do it so much, I guess it's just part of the fight. Please actually like hit. What's going on? It ends here. There we go. Burn! He's gonna despawn and he's gonna respawn with all of his health, isn't he? Yeah. How does this work? Yeah. Okay. Never mind. He's Get same health. Right. I thought I died. We got surge as damage. Yeah, EXP incentive is like you're fucking up if you're not using it. Like almost all the time. I'm using something else right now for the fight. But EXP incentive makes this game okay, so much better. Off. Especially if you take advantage of it by going to the more higher level world first. Every time you get an option between two worlds, just go there and like farm a couple of fights for a minute and then you'll destroy the other world. Should have no problems with this because our ship is super buff now. Also, this song fucking sucks. The chorus sounds like they're like being filtered through a fucking blanket. The way that it's recorded is like wrong.
What do you fucking hit? The thing? Whatever. Cannons! Am I ever gonna get a- oh my god. Am I ever gonna get a triangle move? What's going on here? How hard is it? Oh, I see him. He's gone. They should have made the fucking the sails transparent when you press R1 like that. The Black Pearl can die so easily in this, it's actually fucked up. It can die as you win and you lose. I just, it's, I've seen that clip before. Alright. I forgot this Keep game going, existed. Sora. Blue Demon Man with the 17 months. I'm sorry to remind you. My computer is eating this game and this stream for breakfast. I'm really happy about my computer right now. Okay. Baby Jones. Team effort is always worth it. How much? How long are you supposed to be able to combo him? This is crazy. What's going on right now? I have this. Oh, no, no. Oh, here we go. This shit. I have all my forms. What's going on? They've been in my back pocket for a long time, I guess. Perfect timing. This part is awful on level one, by the way. Why is overtime not working? Look at my Erosa, it's going away. It should not be going away. It should be like going into orbit right now with a timer. Oh, there goes my ship. This is going well right now. As long as he doesn't touch the ground, Davy can't teleport. Whoa. That's a good idea. Hold on. Check this out. Thank you, Donald, for the assist. He would have dropped if Donald didn't do that. Please hit. Thank God that hit.
I didn't know you could juggle him that much. I kind of got crazy. This move is pretty good here. You have to kill all the tentacles or just like a certain amount of them? Because I didn't think I got them last time, but then they went away. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Care to surrender? Three tentacles to get rid of all of them. Okay. That's not as bad as I thought. Nice. That one, yeah, that one exceedingly well. Thank you, um, level, like, 32. Or something. Yeah, the reason why I was confused about my overtime is that I used... Well, maybe it's the wrong thing, but, like, even when I used... I had, like, Faraga and Erosa, and I used the Faraga, and it did not amplify the timer for the Erosa, like I thought it would. But maybe it's because... Oh, yeah, no, the remaining duration of the Faraga, it was about to go away, so it added, like, one second to the Erosa, that's what happened. In order to get... A shitload of time out of it you have to like as soon as you generate like a faraga and an erosa with like 30 seconds each as soon as you use faraga you get 60 seconds on the erosa for example oh we're in the cutscene vortex now i forgot okay we should be able to fly through this world pretty quickly i'm not going to get the uh emblems right away, especially because you are not allowed to explore until it's over. That hit nothing. These have shit, don't they? They're trying to get keyblade materials in advance. Like Damacus and Electrum. Does that have what I want? That is a whole bunch of bullshit. What is this? Wall? Shield? Damacus. That's a lot of damn Damacus. Okay, let's go. Mytho Crystal! Whoa. I want to see what the rest is. Okay, let me clear out this, uh... That doesn't actually do anything. That beam. I just got another damn damage. Look at that. Alright, that should be more than enough. Yes. Alright, let's see how many fucking... forced 
encounters this world has in a row before you're able to do anything. Let's count. This is one. Can't even pause the game and change my fucking food. Actually, I can I can do that if I die. Kill me real quick, please. I'm also gonna take off Don's cure again now that I have potions. How is it? I'm fucking dying in this game, dude. Man, they're too good at healing me, dude. That's what my EXP intended. Close. Enemies don't give a fuck about anything in this game. Please, just one more. I'm getting healed like crazy right now. My party members are good right now. This is why I don't want Dawn to have cure, by the way. The potions are already, like, good enough. I want him to be able to kill stuff with fire. How hard is it to die in this game? I guess these enemies suck ass. Let me get, let me get to the rock troll or whatever. Yeah, this part is a lot easier to die. Go from car to car! Above me? Let's see. Also, did you know that the reticle for the camera blinks red when you're about to die? Let's see. And the uh, Koopo coin, really? Please, I just want to like reset so I get a bunch of EXP. Alright, please, one more. Oh my god. Nice turret, dude. There we go. No way. There we go. I wanted to do this. That took like five minutes. Yeah, I could have finished the fight at that point, but, I mean, you know, it's not about time, it's about EXP. Which I forgot this is like a goaded attack. Oh, I forgot I don't have the, the master draw ring on right now, I should put that on later. Oh, nice. This attack is also good for gaining a meter for your forms for the rock troll. And in that KH3 rando stream I did, my genius idea was to come here and use that RC to, like, get a bunch of kills for free no matter how low your level is. And then I just got trapped here because this world put, puts you into, like, four forced encounters, like, back to back immediately. Like, really fucked up. Wow, that's damage right there, you see that? I still- I don't have counter kick on. I didn't realize. 
That's why I like kick. You can just do that if you want. I'm waiting. Oh, it's time for this. I probably just could have killed him with a fist. Just dry. Can't even wrist dodge that. Oh, I see. Hold on. You know what? Does this do damage from this distance? It does. Barely. Anything at all. I want to face you. Hold on. Just watch the way he like doesn't do anything for like five years. It's the thing about cage for enemies. They just kind of do this. And it's really annoying. One, there's a perfect parry mechanic that's like really fun and satisfying, but then they just do that. It really undermines the whole thing that's going on. Only really works well, like consistently in Remind or Limit Cut. Weird ass talking ability, Focus Siphon. Hey, Payback Strike is nice. Nice picture, Sora. I should make a bad abilities too video. There are a bunch of things I've learned since I made that video that are bad. Like Groundbreaker is bad because of how good the Rising Spiral loop is if you don't have Groundbreaker. Though I guess technically you don't need to take off. Um, actually, you do need to take off Groundbreaker because if you have Groundbreaker, you'll always use it in midair. Like no matter what, if you're in the air. I think. Shout when you're ready, Sora. Okay, so this is the second fucking sequence that you are, like, dragged into against your will in this world before you can explore. Oh, I don't... I don't blizzard right now. You don't even need the rings here. At least during the story part of this, just fucking go quickly. You have to do this shit so much if you're trying to get the second chance accessory. You get to farm this and hope that you get what you're looking for. Look at the dead stop that this game puts you at, at the end of a super slide. It makes me want to throw up. Dead stop. All your momentum gone. I guess you can, like, cancel the the end of it by, like, doing a swing, but come on. Awful. I didn't go through the... Oops. I was wondering what was happening. If these developers could figure out how to make momentum work... God, I sound like a fucking Sonic fan right now, dude. Hey, Kingdom Hearts, for making me sound like that. If they could figure out how to make momentum in their movement feel good... That'd be cool. Yeah. 
If they could like play Cage too with max growth abilities for like two minutes and then like put that in the next game, that'd be cool. That's all I'm asking of them. Not much more than that. Yeah, just like hand. They put that shit in the fucking tiny SDS game. The thing that this game has going for it is the air slide chaining that you can do up hills that like really helps. And the fact that there's like not much end lag anymore on an air slide. Like BBS. It really shoves the lack of momentum down your fucking throat while you're waiting for every aqua air slide to end. Sora. All right. Forced event number three coming up. What is this? The part where you have to like save all six of the big hero? Or is this just that fight on the thing? Right, it's just the fight on the building. Nice. Though I guess technically at this point you're allowed to... I don't know. Let's see how far we can go. Let's see how far the game lets us go. Because I remember getting a lot of chests here in that rando stream before going up there. I wonder if they're, they're going to be like, Hey, uh, Sora, uh, fuck off. Thank you. I meant to take that off, that Donald cure. So I guess technically at this part you could get you could do whatever you want. But you know, not normally. And you're always gonna have hero trying to like tell you to fuck off or whatever. Can you get all the emblems in this world during the day as well as during the night, or does it have to be one or the other sometimes? I, for a second, I thought that the game was not gonna let me get that. The the thing wasn't, the, the box wasn't showing up, and I was like, hmm. Wait a minute. That would've been a really funny discovery. Yeah, hold on. So I guess you're technically allowed to explore the city during this part, but it's like... God forbid if you die. Also, you have to deal with that every five seconds. You can get them all at night, but not during the day. Interesting. I'll I'll call this another forced encounter because it's not like you can like use a save point or leave. So you're like you're, you're roped in in some way or another. Hold on, I'm gonna crank my magic because I have cure converters. I overdid it. Uh, didn't mean to do that last thunder. Remember how many times we heard that when we were trapped here in the cage through the rando? And we were just like camping them with thunder? That was really funny. Maybe I'll try that again one day as a joke. Page to rando. That was really good. I got the perfect angle. I killed like a set of reinforcements in the middle of that. Thank you. Hello, I'm healthcare. You're a 
Hit me, dude. What? What's this enemy? Okay. Oh. I mean, with a bow. This game sucks. Yeah, dude. Perfect parries, dude. Yeah. Whoa. Is there a mod that puts forced retaliation in the game so that you can provoke an enemy to hitting you every time if you want? Thanks, Goofy. Would you rather have Donald's ingredients or Mimi's now we can relax? I'll have the ingredients all day long. Now we can relax and all the other shit that she says in that game is like every time you come across every enemy always. It's way worse. Atlas shopkeepers repeating their dialogue every time as you skip through their dialogue is worse than ingredients. What is the enemy doing? It's stoned. And then it does that. Whatever. Maybe I'm doing this to myself, trying to expect the ability to use this mechanic in every fight. I get good enough damage without it. Whatever. Well, like, imagine if the game were made in a way that, like, complemented its mechanics. I don't know, I think that'd be cool. Like, the potential is there. I think that's the thing about KH3 that tilts me the most, is that there are cool-ass things here. Like, fucking perfect red flurries is, like, the most amount of dopamine you can get ever. But, like, trying to go for it will give you cancer. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for perfect red flurries when we get to limit cut, because I need to... It'll be great there. It's, like, consistent and shit once you get to that part. Because of the way that those fights are good. Nice sound effects. Whatever, I'll take it. It's good enough. I wonder if you can kill that boss outright if you got a perfect flurry there. If he did so much damage before it, like, it, it's probably forced to do this phase too eventually. You can? Oh. Damn, too bad I didn't get it there. I almost died. Oh my god, please. Okay. What am I doing? Just fucking teleport there with the funny button. Oh yeah, it's the same health bar. Maybe I can just do a raw flurry here if I can build it up without losing my meter. Or just do this. Or just miss. What is this? What does a shoot do? Oh! This is actually goaded. I'm gonna give this guy the ring. This is a good, um, good limit. That was so fucking doopy looking. What the hell is that? Or, uh... It's actually kind of... I shouldn't expect Sora to be able to land that because of what this boss is. Take this. Why are you? Hold on. I'm not even locked on. That would help. Back off. There we go. There we go.
Event number four that you get immediately dragged into without any chance to do anything else. As you can pause the game. Water guy? You know what? Why not? You know what, you know what I'm going to do, actually? It's a weird strategy, but there's a reason to it. If you hit an enemy with Faraga first and then use basic fires, you can generate Faraza off of that way cheaper. Yeah, you can explore during this part, but again, you can't fucking like access a save point and, like do shit normally. And you have NPCs in your ears telling you like go fuck yourself for not going in the right direction, so I don't count it. God forbid you die. Hey, well, there's a save point right here. Hold on. Wait a minute. That's something, I guess. Where do you even go during this part? I always get lost here. When do you unlock the not shitty finisher? With the mod that I'm using, at the end of this world. Okay, let's charge. It's in one of the corners of the city. That's where we need to be. It's our northwest corner. Okay. That's like the last one I was about to go to. These dumb goggles makes it so that I don't get the drip sore mod in this world. Right here. We go. It's not on levels, it's on events. Wait. No, I'm I'm I read ahead. What level does this game expect you to be by the ending? Probably like yeah, like forty to fifty. I didn't read chat. Are you immune here? This is just a timed thing where you just have to wait. Yeah, they really should have given you Glide after Arendelle or something. I guess you do get it for forms, but that doesn't count. Once we get to level 50, we're going to turn on EXP 0 so that I'm not over leveled for limit cut. I like doing limit cut at level 50, right, right in the dot. It's perfect middle ground for me. All right, force event number five. Improvise. I know. Let's see. Penis music. Honey lemon. Don't say it, don't think it. Why did I do that? I have it on my triangle. You don't even need to use the right spell. You can just like hit it a bunch and eventually it will blow up. Snipers are here? What the fuck? Ow! I got sniped right as it cut. Oh, I gotta do the um... I gotta do the cutscene glitch again. Does the cutscene glitch soft lock your game or can I just do that and like... then progress normally after that? 
I don't remember if there's any adverse effects to doing cutscene glitch. Yeah, I know EXP0 doesn't provide any bonuses. Oh, why do I keep, like, responding to people when they're responding to other people without, like, reading the chat fully? I keep, like, hijacking people's conversations. EXP0, yeah, it doesn't have any bonuses. I'm just putting it on just so I can control my level. I think BBS... BBS and... There's one other game that had bonuses. KH1 have hidden EXP0 bonuses, but that, that's it, if I recall. You see anything big, you can smash against it? That's a ball. I really, it would, why, why don't you get glad at this part? <laughs> You really should have glided by now. Oh, there it is. I thought it was on a building. That's why I was like looking on the tops of buildings, not just in the fucking street. There we go. These devs love this fucking running around on ball bullshit. Every single one of their games has it. It's their favorite little funny little thing. Can't wait for Cage 4 to have some stupid version of this. I'm gonna do cutscene glitch, I don't care what happens. I wonder if Cage War will be as explicitly, like, designed for kids as this game is. I mean, they all are, but, like, this game in particular is way, way more heavy handed about it. This is the building you need to get to, right? No, it's that one. That's where the next boss fight event happens. Yeah, all you gotta do is walk onto that. It's actually one of the easiest exploits to do. It's a glitch. Was that too late? No, I got it. Okay, I think. there's a lot of them. Yeah, I got it. This is how you know. What do you suppose they'll do? I don't think we want to find out. Whatever's happening can't be good. I'm almost done pinpointing the I core. say it's we destroy this thing. <sighs> but without a strategy, we'd just be wasting our strength. Thanks. If we knew where to strike. Sora, I got it. I'm sending you an It'll show you where the core is. Let's see. I'm coming out. Is it busted? Hero, who's that on the display? That's not the display. He's really here. Huh? The black coat. He's back? Are you done messing around? What? Wait. That voice. Oh, this is the no. cutscene bug. He gives you, you control during the cutscene. You notice that? And now, enter the super villain. He definitely has the vibe. Funny. Nice. Rico. <laughs> but. As if this stupid experiment wasn't already a hassle. This is like the Oathkeeper KH1 cutscene bug on crack. Do you recognize it? Yeah. Not quite ready. That's the first chip I made for Baymax. It's full of combat programs. Uh, uh, programs? Yeah, they tell Baymax how to react. <laughs> 
Does that mean it's like his heart? More than. Riku! <laughs> I don't, I don't remember if there's any adverse. I think you have to. If there is, I think you have to, like, die? I don't remember. It's been a while since I did this. Oh no! Nora, I'm on my way. I'll look after my team. You guys fight the dark you. Remember to use the AR device to target the core. I got it! I've never seen a T pose in KH3. Oh, yeah. Is this normal? This doesn't look normal. This should be like an actual boss fight. Yeah, this is not normal. Yeah. But the thing you. Yeah, I remember this. You have to like go here and die. Yeah. Enemies can still spawn in here somewhere. You just find them, have them kill you, and then you can reset normally. I just don't remember where they... There they are. And then you hit retry, and then it works like normal. Don't save me, don't do it. Oh. Stupid coin. Here's what I can do. There we Do I have any AP rings? I think Jack still has one in the fucking Caribbean. It's okay, all he needs is um just a couple more. There we go. And now it should be normal. Yeah, we're good. Are you ready? It's a weird fucking glitch. Full thrust. Get up. Get up. Try to take damage when you're in these. You just can't die. I should have saved this for later. Oops, whatever. Donald, what are you doing? What are you targeting? Back at ya. Here we go. I learned something about this game that will infuriate you, and it's infuriating me right now. When you're in a form, you get stunned for longer because you have to wait the full animation of your stun before you can act. And that's why I couldn't escape that, that combo. That's why I couldn't escape that combo just now. It's real. This game fucking sucks, dude! Why? No damage, why? I get the lock on reticle, but don't damage, whatever.
see that? I was mashing. That was close. That's how you know. See that? That's me out of a form. I just walked out of it by holding the left stick. How do you fuck up that badly? Hey, last charge. I thought I'd get it later. Nice. Alright, we're in there. Magic finishers have iframes? Do you mean the grand magic or the, the, the finisher finisher? Alright, which force fight was that? Was that force event fight number five or four? Spell combo finisher, so just the basic one. That's cool. Can that... That is cool. Hey, another slot, nice. Item boost is always worth it. Incredibly good item right there. In fact, I wish I would start getting high potions instead, so that, like, the party members have potions and then I use high potions and it's like a separate stock. Can I sell some stuff? I guess I have five high potions, but that's like not enough. That should be enough. I didn't put it on the last charge. I didn't put it on. That's what I was forgetting. It's okay. It's not like I'm gonna be able to use it in this doink ass fight or anything. Every time I do this fight, I think about how my first ever full stream playthrough of this game, I cancelled over this fight. Because it was like level 1 hacked critical with the ultimate weapon. That's the stream I was doing, and I got here, and it was, a, it was over as soon as we got here. It was all over. This is where it ended. 2019 YouTube stream. I always think about how miserable that was. This isn't that bad, but it was level 1, and this was critical mode before critical mode even, like, was officially patched into the game. Critical mode was in the game before the critical update, it was just the modifiers and, like, no other, no, none of the abilities. But it was just, like, the, the damage modifiers, and, like, nothing else. I did get past Skull, though, but that's because I had the ultimate weapon, that's, like, the only thing holding that playthrough together, until this part, where you're not allowed to do anything, normally. It's hard on level 1, if, well, I, I might be able to handle it if I did it, like, today, as opposed to, like, three years ago. 
But the part that sucks is the the second phase where we're actually like flying around on Baymax. That part is you you mess it up one time, it's over. It sucks. Also, like to maximize your damage output on level one, you have to parry all of those. What? Not a cutscene. That's not a thing. I remember getting hit by that a bunch of times because I was looking at his animation for like the him throwing shit at you. And I was like, oh, time to parry that, and I got hit by that, and I'm like, oh, I'm dead. Just like that. And I always get clipped by that too. That much I remember. And the fucking finisher is super unsafe. The finisher you build up here is super awful and unsafe. This. Understood. Oh, it does a lot of good damage. I remember getting hit out of that like all the time. You have been injured. That was close. I did a fuck low though, I timed that better. Full speed. I time I I parried that super like as soon as it hit me, I pressed the attack. I thought that you had to time it. I don't know why that just worked. Maybe I got hit by like the first two things. I don't know how that worked exactly. Like I just hit that as soon as it came into contact with me, and it all parried normally. He has a wall spy animation here. It's interesting. Not a problem at all when it's, uh, you know, normal level. Ow. Now, as soon as I touch that save point and I, I leave see. the world, you know what happens. Also, this is the part of the game where people are like, first time Kingdom Hearts players are like, how do I leave? See. This is the only time that the game makes you leave on your own instead of just putting you on the world map immediately. If you don't believe me, look up how to leave Caribbean or how to leave San Francisco right now, and you'll see people trying to leave and they don't know how. Yeah, this some pirates, but it depends on what order you do it. This will happen in both. Damn, how much fucking AP do I need, dude? Get this shit out of here. Alright, time for the cutscene vortex. How many cutscenes? Without content in between them. One. I should make a YouTube short as a joke, too. I should make a YouTube short as a joke. As, like, how to leave the Caribbean. Yeah, we're doing Remind. And Limit Cut. And Yozora. That's gonna be, like, the highlight of the playthrough 3. And now we're Riku. In the fucking Realm of Darkness. Nope, no need for like a world leading up to this or anything. No need for any content for like the thing that people actually like care about in this game. It's not like this is like one of the most important things ever. Nice finisher, dude. It totally doesn't suck. Yes. 
All the other playable characters have like two items each. Trashy shows up here. I didn't know he could do that. I didn't know he could combo her like that. I always imagined that this game would have a Realm of Darkness stage to save Aqua and a Realm of uh, a Castle Oblivion stage with Aqua to save um, Ventus. It's two playable, original, cool worlds returning in this game. Never would I have imagined this is how they do it. Sora. Never would I have imagined that this is how they handled it. Look at those health bars, it's a joke. It's like a shit post compared to every other Kenny Mars game that has events like this. I only have like three cure converters. What the hell? Six health bars. Level 50. I didn't know she was level 50. You just got out of a level fucking 38 world. Six health bars for level 50 enemy. That's normal. I just want to do a red flurry. That's all I want here. Nice attack, by the way. You know what? Just fist her. You know what? Let it rock. <laughs> Fucking Roblox noise. That's what that was. Oh, that would have been it. I can kill her right now, but I'm trying to do something funny. Okay. Isn't there a mod that like gives her 12 health bars or some shit? I should've used that. I use that on the personalized playthrough of KH3. That will do eventually. I know there's a data aqua mod, but I'm just talking like that fight would be much better if she just had like double the health. And maybe make some of those free punishes not free. Let's see. At least Vanitas has a normal fucking health bar. That helps at least. There's your Castle Oblivion stage right here. I don't 
Tripsaurus back there. The mod still works for this too. They use the song for um, Lumi Cut as well, right? It's way better there. Just because it's a normal fight. Or a more well rounded fight, of course. It's a pretty easy fight. He just kind of rolls over. His revenge value attack is jump backwards and say nope and then become vulnerable again. I would rather fight Vanitas in BBS than in here. In here it's just easy. Though I guess it's designed better technically. That goes without saying. All right, cutscene vortex number three. Put down the controller for like three hours and make some tea. Fucking DDS pacing, DDS no. DDD pacing over here, fucking like just push all the important story events at the end. They really took that to heart and they doubled down on that for Cage 3. Wow, wow that's what I'm saying. Farm Damicus. I got like three Damicus earlier actually. Should be good on Damicus for a while. Right, this is the only gummy boss you actually have to do, because if you if you skip it, you're just stuck. You actually have to like kill the boss to open the door. Wait, where's this taking me? Oops. Are we going for all the clones? Yeah, I'll do that. I always do that. Maximum HP. It's always good to go. I'm not gonna get Ultima, it's too good. In this game, it's like cheese. Oathkeeper and Oblivion are way cooler to use, anyways. I like the way the health bar looks. In the gummy ship. Look at the health bar. Yeah, it's too annoying to get as well. I'm not doing that ever again. It takes too long to get and isn't all that fun to use. I am oh, just because it's like too good. It makes it devalues a limit cut. Especially when Oathkeeper and Oblivion are there and they're cooler to use.
Electro, I'm not going to. I just wanted to see that pop up once. Oh, 42. Interesting. After the 10,000 Heartless fight, I'm going to take a little 5 to 7 minute break. Hold on, I need a. Let me get my Master Treasure ring on. I don't have it on right now. Actually, that doesn't matter here. Oh my god, the frame rate. The first thing that's put my game under 60 FPS. Yeah, I've seen, I've tried the mod that gives um, Oblivion's double form the Roxas moveset, it's really cool. That'll be in my personalized page 3 modelist. It's really cool doing combos and like switching between the two. Day 2 and you're already here, yeah. I played this game once or twice. I'm a little good at it. Where were you expecting I'd be? After nine hours, more or less. Are right, the last two worlds pretty good? I got all the emblems and fucking pirates, and did everything like first try. Three FPS shadows. Purely decorative. Clap minus three health bars, Jesus. That fucking row, that fucking sea of Moses shit I just did there with the, the, the throw of this thing. You can do that with grand magic as well if you like shoot. Like a, you can do that with any magic actually. Like an aim. If I didn't have an auto lock, we'd do that more. Now, to get rid of you both, Giorgio's on. They did this exact trick for KH2. It's just that the enemies that are decorative are also the enemies that you're fighting. So it makes sense to do it like this. Because like once you get close to them, they become non-decorative, and you actually fight them. They only do it for enemies in the background, and not enemies that you're literally fucking standing on. Worth it. So it actually looks better in Cage 2. Because it's pretty blatant that they're just redoing it here for decorative purposes. I could have died there. That frog killed me, but I was like, fucking. 
I had a camera pointing at the ground. It's on me. Thank you, Flash. Stuff. You can infinitely grind here, but when you're just like shooting, I guess you can. I think the way I think the real enemies that spawn in become way less um, frequent once you get the reaction command. Pretty sure. This is really not that word. The Jake the Dog with the new Prime Gaming sub. Thank you. Very much enjoy the emotes. Welcome to the Sham Fam. Yeah, about this. Do this goofy ah uh, shit that they put in this dramatic fight. Because I'm I'm three years old. This is my first Kingdom Hearts game. This is my first video game. I, I pressed L1 by accident. Oh shit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here we go. I'm three years old. This is my first game of my skin. Please, please understand. This is my first video again. I guess we get to see what happens when you do that. Maybe you'll get the command again. Okay, just comes back. It's my first Kingdom Hearts game, and I'm so excited. It looks so cool and smile. My you picks with the 34 months. Thank you. Oh, it's over. Oh, my, my cuisine ran out too. I'm not even getting any EXP. Just fucking end it. to get that before the next sequence. You can't tell me seeing one billion hearts fly into the air in real time isn't cool. Yeah, I can, actually. I need to buy some shit. You've just heard it. It's lame. It sucks. Not cool. All you're doing is holding R1 and flying around like a Disney train like a four year old. Paw Patrol kind of mid. Alright, before we get dunked on by Terra Nort, why did I just buy 400 fucking potions and eat food? Uh oh. I'll deal with that later. Before we get dunked on by Terra Nort, I need to take a midstream break. I will be back in five to seven minutes. Enjoy the break screen. I'm back. Semi longer break than normal because I need to stimulate my duodenum. Now I'm back. That's a very, very old break screen, the one that we swapped to halfway through. 
There's a old ass break screen I made for like the original streams I would do in like 2019 on YouTube. I'm going to record that on the CRT so that's in line with the other break screens. Sometime soon. Kind of like remake it as well. I still have the original video. It's literally just the illegal combos video slowed down. I don't want to commit to upgrading any more Keyblades, because I'm going to be using a completely different set by the end of the game. Maybe I'll upgrade this a little bit, this Keyblade's cool. But stats are good enough out the gate. Oh, this Keyblade's already level 3, I forgot that this game does that as you get new ones. I've got 10 Damacus? Okay, I can afford to stimulate this Keyblade a little bit. I'll upgrade it into Electrum territory and then... That's good enough. I just wanted a new keyboard that was like... Good to, like, do shit. There we go. And I need money, which I can get easily in the sewer, real quick. Or just by hitting, like, fucking anything. Sora keeps the drip when he form changes. The way that the drip mod works is it's a custom material that goes over his model. So unless it's a completely different world that changes his outfit, it works for every form. It's really cool. Money's that? Not much money. I would have needed, um, rags to riches on for that to be a lot of money. Forgot about that. Oh yeah, the barrel spins. Hold up. I've got money converter on, so it's going to be a lot more than normal. Nice moves. That bitch just said, is, I heard skateboarding is passe now? Cope. It's just the devs pretending that skateboarding isn't cool so that they don't have to put it into the game because they know they wouldn't be able to do it properly. Because they know they suck. Oh, I forgot. forgot. Nice moves. I don't have enough money for food. Who the hell uses a mega ether? That should be enough for like one more set of uh, EXP food for now. Maybe even two? I'll try. I could probably make more. I have the means of making food. Hold on. We brought some ingredients. Let's see if there's any more. Oops. We brought some ingredients. I do not. Okay. Well, I just needed like one of these or something. Nice. All right. We did it. Yeah. All right. We did it. 
doesn't even cut the fucking onion with this easy code. Oh, the people that ported the HD games? It, it was probably just like three people at Osaka. Just like straight up. With or without them also making Cage 3 at the time, it would have been like two people. I am like 10, but you know. Just talking shit here. But uh. Oh yeah, two everything, that's good. That's the rationale that goes behind most ports, is that it's like HD remakes. HD, um, ports, rather. Oh, the game's already made? Let's just have, like, the minimum amount of people put in the minimum amount of work on this. It's free money. Smile. First, we need to find the others. Something, something. GTA. Remastered collection, legacy collection. I don't know why that happens. I think that's part of the Drip Sora mod. Okay? It just like breaks their models for some weird reason. Maybe the way, maybe the reason why that happens is that this mod uses Kyrie's outfit and Axel's hair to become the hat and the the coat. Because I've seen that every time I've used this mod. It has to be. Oops. Damn, you know what I should have done actually? I should have let these cutscenes play out instead of um going to the break screen. That would have made more sense. Oh well. That would have made a lot more sense. Whatever, who cares? Yeah. Not for this shit. These must be pieces of me. I guess I didn't need to use the EXP food now. It would have been smarter to use it when we went to, um, actually started fighting, but oh well. I've got extra just in case. Yeah, this section's pretty neat. It's also funny that you can you can miss the uh, the nominee dialogue. What a weird place! Yeah, we're getting all 333 of these for the extra health, so we're gonna be here for a hot minute. This part, imagine this part with Cage 2 movement. It would be like the best content in the Kingdom Hearts game ever. Look at them, they're stationary gliding in a game that doesn't fucking have that. It's so cool. Awesome. I wonder what the fastest route for getting all 333 would be. Like if you were to route it out and like do it perfectly. I guess I could watch a speedrun to see how they get 111. They showed this in a trailer. Huh. Winnie the Pooh trailer, I think. Huh. Or some shit. What's going on? Yeah. 
Actually, it's good to just fall, I think. It resets you all the way up here. Almost there. Doing a Yogi Splunky. Can't flow one of these? Okay, whatever. It is cool though, this is literally the 2FM box art. Is this. How much extra health do you get for getting 2-2-2 two, 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 and then 3-3-3? Three, three, three? Like per... I know you get bonuses per each. Dude, what do you fucking glide? Really should only get this yeah. if I rotate the thing. Total of plus four on crit. <laughs> Goddamn. Worth, I guess. I just want 100% of the HP boosts. Get that maximum. Yeah. Might as well. Doesn't take that much longer. Yeah. 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 yeah, it would have been cooler as MP, but you know. Makes more sense for HP because it's Sora's body and all. Bro, this configuration sucks. What's going on here? Where's the shit? Where's the juice? All this for plus four. Yeah, the navigation kind of sucks. But this game's movement isn't good enough for a section like this IMO. It really is not. <laughs> Benadryl. What is the best food for stats? Isn't there like a certain like best food to have in your full course bonus? Yeah, this isn't missable. You can always come back here. It's not missable. Just who the fuck comes back here. Now, there's got to be a, like a list of like in terms of stat bonuses, like the five best for like the maximum stats. Because don't stats from food have like an extra effect? At least on level one, it like pushes beyond the like the stat uh, four in a way that isn't normal. Something about that. Yeah. 
I need to rotate the thing. This configuration sucks ass. I just don't know what I want to rotate it to exactly. I'd like it to be completely flipped, I think. Oh, great. that a second boost. So our hair gets crazy here. Look at what's going on. What the fuck? Oh, here we go. This is what I wanted. I think. Yeah, we're in there now. I need this to be flat. I hope I... I wonder, how much are we going to get done today? Because I want to end stream at a time where I can get McDonald afterwards. And it is 9.35. So that gives me... Like, not even two hour? Two hours would be a stretch. It'd be like 30 minutes before closing. I've been live for four already, so an hour and a half would be fine. No, I'd rather... I, I, I don't like to eat on stream. Or, like, take breaks to eat on stream. I'd rather just plan it out accordingly and then, like, eat after stream. It's way nicer feeling. It's not 24-7. They are fucking bums at this McDonald's. They don't give a fuck, and I don't blame them. But I mean, like, an hour and a half more should be, like, that should probably be as much as I wanted to do today anyways. Yeah. I've, been, I've already been alive for, like, four hours. Yeah. I think we'll, we'll beat the base game in an hour and a half. Yeah. I think. Does that sound reasonable? Does that sound doable? Yeah. I could do that. Yeah. This shit is cake from here on. Where's my cuisine at? I guess I can't see. Sai's kind of tough? Nah. This is the... This isn't the fucking Roxas version where you just have to actually fight him as Roxas. You just, like, let Roxas eat his ass. Easy. Let's see, like, think about what we have to do in, like, an hour and a half. We have to do all the... Yeah. All the fights leading up to... Nort Court. We can do it. It's easy. Because I've leveled up normally, it's gonna be a lot easier. And reasonable. Just worry about these Sauras. For whatever this is worth, the fucking boost. That kind of sucks. Soup. Cold tomato soup plus. Stuffed quail plus. Just put that in, um, put that in stream chat with formatting. I'll look at that later. Which just absolutely does not format that properly. But yeah, just put that in stream chat, it'll be fun. It's not like I need it today or anything. Might not even take advantage of it at all. I'm just curious. It's not that important. Am I trapped down here? Nope, okay. 
The fucking swords are so sparse right now. It's the worst part about this is the end. There's gotta be a better spot that I've neglected. Jeez, that was not worth it. Or one sword. Oh, here we go. This area makes more sense now that it's flipped. Do you actually have to get 100% of them for 333? Or is it just most of them? There's no way it's 100% of them. I'm gonna eat the marble here. What, is it, what does the marble here taste like? It, I think it tastes like the marble from Spongebob when they're sculpting in the sculpting episode. Which, that also requires explanation, but real ones will already know. I wonder if anybody's gotten all of the sores and how many there are. There's gotta be like 400 or something. Oh my god. I'm trapped. What does this do? Oh, that... What does it even do? It just rotates it. It like does nothing. Oh, here's the here's the juice right here. I just gotta get him upside down, which kinda sucks. Yeah. We just glide to the wall. Just glide into the wall. Just glide into oh, this game fucking When you're when you're in the falling transitional animation, you can't do anything. Can't cancel it into a glide. Alright, we're almost done. Please just land and jump. Get over here. Yes. The drip has been returned. Yeah, need that forsaken movement. 1.2 billion dollar fucking movement. Sora. You don't believe that. All right, time for this. Oh, we gotta... Okay, we gotta make it safer. We gotta make sure that EXP exploit works. Now, what are we supposed to do? We get a fresh spawn of Neo Shadows and then we pop Erosa or Thundaza or Thundaza then Erosa. How does this work? Uh, on this keyblade, we have to get it randomly. It's the thunder that we need to worry about. I did it in the wrong order. Hold on. Hurry, Sora! We can't let him get away! Yeah, you have to use the slowdown, don't you? I'll, um... I'll do that. Back 
Back off! Back off! Forget the small fry! Yeah. We gotta go after the one in charge! It's over! This might take a while to get working, but it'll be huge. Just the real question is how do I get the random Arosa and the Thundaza on time? Opportunity City right now. I did not do it properly. Why didn't that work? Why is the arrow up there, dude? Why is it up there? Never stop them all. Leave them, Sora. We gotta keep going. Why did that not work? There is a way to kill a shitload of Neo Shadows right as they spawn in. Like you just like insta-kill them as soon as they spawn in. It's like over and over and over again with Erosa and Thandaza. It's just you need to have both of them and you need to land them on top of each other like perfectly and then like slow down the game with like a slowdown. But I think that fucked up. I don't know if I... Man, nobody knows what the fuck this is? Hold on. How do you guys not know what this fucking is? Let me pull up a video just so I know. I'm supposed to do this. You need this Keyblade to be upgraded to have the random Erosa. Okay, Thundaza first, evidently. That's how it's done. That's what I'm trying to do. But I don't know if it works the same way on PC when your game doesn't fucking lag like that. The lag might be... A, um... The lag might be part of the strat, I don't know. I suspect it may be. But we're gonna try and get that to work. Yeah. Elemental encoder, yes, but it would be it would be a random one. And not a Rosa. They have combo boost, what the hell? Why is it combo plus four AP in this game? What? The fuck? Take out your RAM and your graphics card? <laughs> that doesn't turn off your PC, does it? do that fucking with your PC on. I'd rather kill myself than try and make that happen right now. What I could do though. It's already maxed on this department. Forget the small fry. We gotta go after the one in charge. This is like the resolution I have the game at right now. What's 200%? What's double 1440p? Oh, I need ethers when I do. The fact that I can record this and stream this without my OBS dropping frames right now is like a testament to how perfect my stream settings have finally become. Oh, I should probably put on. Oh, Donald has a fucking Celestrad. Donald has my Celestrad. I don't have the Thunder Boost. I should still be able to do it, though. 
McDonald as my toast, right? Why did I give it to that fucking guy? 288. 2880p. Well, as long as I max out my magic stat, should be fun. And extra cast is good as well. I don't even really need this EXP, I just think it'd be funny to do. And pull off properly. Let me go back and save just in case I need more ethers. You can't pause the game while you're in that falling animation, dude. This game sucks. You're not allowed to pause the game during that animation. Even with a blue menu. Okay. Back off! Back off! Yeah! Back off! Back off! Release Sora! We can't let him get away! Back off! Back off! Back off! Yeah! Back off! Back off! Back off! Oh fuck, I'm not gonna generate it in time, aren't I? Oh! It's working! It worked! Hey, Thunder Boost. It worked. I might be able to do it again, too. I don't know how much money I have now. Oh, like, not enough for... E I've got eight ethers. I'll make it work one more time. What's going on here? Here we go. I have the render scale at 200% right now with a base render of fucking 1440p, so my shit's lagging already because of that. I'm just surprised that my computer can handle it. I'm glad I finally got that to work. I've tried it multiple times on stream and like not gotten it. Back off! Back off! I didn't get it. This thing try going for it like this now. Hurry, Sora! We can't let him get away! Oh my god. I tried doing that again. That, that worked again. The noise? The noise that the... The money pickup or like the... the burr, 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 right, that noise, I swear right. to god. It is the item pickup noise from Spongebob Super Sponge for the PS1. And I'm about to prove it. Every time you pick up an orb in shot lock like that when it's slowed down. Yeah. 
That. Every time you pick up a spatula in this fucking game. So whenever I'd play this game and I'd hear that, it would like activate something in me. I tried doing that one more time and that worked resoundingly well. How many levels have I gotten since I entered here, dude? Look at these new abilities. Seven? Start at 36. Very good. Let's try and pull it off one more time. Shit wore off and it deleted my arrows because this game sucks. My my form wore off and that deleted my arrows because this game fucking sucks. Because that happens. So that's how this game is programmed. Man, give me my arrow. Do I have to do that first? Oh fuck. I'm not getting lucky this time. Alright. Get out of there. Get out of there. I don't know about this one. Yeah, that one didn't work. I was like between spawns and my shit was running out. I should have came over here. You can do it here too. I'm not gonna have the ether capital to do that again, alright? I guess I did save. Let's see, let's check. Oh, I do have the ethers, alright. Fuck, reloading. We'll never stop them all. Leave them, sir. We gotta keep right. going. Let's let this run out so it doesn't fuck anything up again. Back off! Back off! Back off! Yeah! 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 Hurry, Sora! We can't let him get away! What? Okay. Back off! Back off! Nice! Back off! Back off! Thunder! Yeah! Forget the soul fry! I didn't get it. This game system suck. Take this! How are you not gonna get thunder after that? How are you not going to get thunder after that? Back off. Back off. Yeah. Right there. We'll never stop them all. Leave them, sir. We got to keep going. Maybe. Yeah, now I have to reload who's on out of ethers now. 
Turn off critical converter? No, that's not how it works. I don't believe. Wait, is this gonna load the autosave or the save save? Having a keyboard with Grand Magic on can cause you not to get a different Grand Magic. Ooh, good point. Alright. I will switch keyboards to like something like this. <laughs> you guys can see this lag, right? Because I have my shit like cranked right now, just to maximize the lag. Or whatever save this is, it has ethers, so. Wait, is this even the one that. Okay, it's level 43. I'm gonna do it over here this time. I think the it might be more convenient. The spawning's a bit more compact. Hurry, back so on. We can't let him get away. Back on. Back on. I see how the arrow trampoline didn't hit anyone in the actual arrow. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Back on. Look at the back off. We gotta nice. go after the one in charge. Back off! Back off! Back off! Oh fuck, it's all like spread out and fucked up. That didn't that didn't do it, did it? No, that didn't do it. Why did that not work? Yeah. It's because I had two of these fucking commands in the way and I couldn't like mash it properly. Million fucking command game. Back off. Right Just activate him, get him out of the way. Back off. Back off. Oh, fuck. We can't let him get away. Back off. Right there. Win. I think I needed the arrow to be right here for that one. Yeah. Forget the small fry. We gotta go after the It's not thunder charge. first. Is it? I've been doing arrow first the whole time. Have I not been? I'll try it one more time with this much amount of MP that I have. Yeah, I was having more success over here, wasn't I? I'll try Thunder Arrow we'll this, this time. The wind up. Leave him, Sora. We gotta keep going. Back off. Back off. Yeah. Back off. Well, cool random red parry in the middle of that. Yeah, here we go. Ooh, this is a multi-hit. That might help. Hurry, Sora. We can't let him get away. But I'm not gonna generate it in time, alright? Man, the fucking finisher screwed me out of that. I couldn't escape. That sucks. I'm out of items now. I'm gonna reload again. I want this to work one more time. Oh, yeah, Grand Magic Extender. The, you get those from Flans. I didn't get those. Write that down. That's good to get. Overtime would also be good because like you could use your form and then it would boost the time you have on your arrow. But like doing this without EXP boost is counterproductive. Yeah. I don't even know if the lag is helpful here. It, I'm just gonna keep using yeah. it. I'm gonna use these enemies to farm the command and then come over here to get. No, I don't have enough time. For... Let's just do it the way that we got it to work. Sora, we can't let him get away! Back off! Back off! We gotta target multiple times and not change it up. Back off! Nice! Here we go! Back off! Forget the small fry! Back off! We gotta go after the yeah. one in charge! Why did they spawn over here now? 
I'm going to them. I'm not going to get my shit because I'm getting hit. God damn it. There's that Zaza. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's working! Oh my god! Whoa! Did you see that? That was like a nightmare. Wow. Back off. Back off. Am I gonna overshoot my levels? Okay, that's perfect. I didn't want to go above 50. Alright. Yeah, yeah, I definitely need to land it in the right spot, and that was like the perfect spot. Wow! That's going on YouTube for sure. Alright, get my frames back, thank god. Twelve levels here. All right, let's fix our shit. That was insane. I need to see that again. Hold on. Yeah, that was like the, that? that was the most insane overlap of Heartlesses I've ever seen. Yeah, there's a grand magic extender just in time. Every fucking ability in the game and all the AP I'm ever gonna need right there. Yeah, I wonder what my stats were before and after as well. Nice. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah, Twitch should put in like a rewind, kind of like how a YouTube live stream lets you like click back on the timeline. We can't let him get away. But the, the clip is right there. Yeah. Just watch that clip. That was in chat a second ago. Yep. In case you've never seen it, that's the EXP exploit here. This doesn't go anywhere, does it? Nope. Forget the small fry. We gotta go after the one in charge. Now, if you need to, um, the way that you do that is you need to upgrade, don't forget to do, don't ever forget to do this, you need Ever After to be upgraded to have, um, its ability, the, um, ow, Erosa ability on it, you need that for it to work, because you don't have Eroga at this point in the game. Yeah, Ever After is a beast of a Keyblade. It's got Leaf Bracer out the gate, it's got fucking Erosa once you level it up a little bit, it's got insane stats for magic, and its moveset is cracked once you're in the form. Yeah, in order to backtrack normally, you have to like look at the stream as a video. I don't even know if you have access to that though. I think YouTube auto, or Twitch auto doesn't post my shit because of copyright. Don't I have cure converter rings on? No, I have, I have magic rings on. Right. Good setup. I'll fix that later. It works? Okay, cool. I think it's only after streams it becomes unavailable.
You could probably do that to get to like 99 eventually. We ought to search every portal the shadows control. I got 12 levels by doing that three times. Yeah, and the best one of the best shot locks as well. Both of its shot locks are really good. The one, the impartial shot lock, or the, yeah, the partial shot lock where you just get health back, that one's really good. The full shot lock is like the best, best utility and damage in both of its shot locks. Oh, I wanted to use cure hoops. That also means I can stop using EXP food. I can start using the other um, abilities. You eventually get a magic set too high for it. That's crazy to imagine. It's interesting though. How does that work? It's too high. It's too good. Interesting. Whoa, okay. I almost just died. Oh, now we're juiced as fuck. That's how it's done right there. It's over. There. I was about to say, what the fuck? The map, um... This map doesn't have New Zealand. One of the many maps that doesn't have New Zealand on it. We ought to search every portal. The shadows control. Yeah, scream once I get to level fifty. If I don't notice. Am I forty nine right now? Did I get another level up that I didn't see? That doesn't parry. Oh well. Holy shit, Sora's going through it right now, dude. What the fuck? This is the first time all playthrough I've been higher level than the enemies around me. I'm by a pretty fat margin now. I just realized how magic galvanizer works. I just remembered how it worked. And it also applies to grand magic. That's what that finisher was there. In shadows. Yeah, I'm destroying this guy. This guy's fucked. Hey. We ought to search every portal the shadows control. Yeah, the Olympus keyway is almost always really goaded. Unless it's BBS where keyblades don't have like the biggest 
influence most of the time. Can I like... There we go. Oh. There we go. That's how you dispel lightning right there. Though I got hit like 40 times trying to fucking use it. Where am I? Okay, nice parry. Where am I? Back off. Here we go. Do I have to kill them for the respawn? For the witch to spawn again, or is he just like in Detroit? He's just somewhere else? Oh, yeah, this fucking massive area in the dark, of course. I, Jesus Christ. Get back here. Yeah. Take this. There we go. Hey, stop! This outfit is so funny. It'd be cool if there was an update for it that like used the more modern modding That's tech for this game. One. He must be hiding in there. Make the colors of the custom material change with the forms. I love this stupid fucking jacket. Is your opinion on changed on this game with the revisit or is it the same old same old? It's better. My opinion of this game is better. Now that I know how to really just hijack the EXP that I'm getting and actually like Playthroughs of this game from years ago I had a lot of me not getting EXP and then disliking the game with like near level one stats. Which, you know, when you're just like lower level, especially like just just our right, level one playthroughs, you are prone to getting hit by some of the fucked up things that this game has to offer in terms of like the shittier enemies or just like fucked up system problems are way more prevalent and when you're like running through all the areas like just not getting any extra uh, optional encounter EXP it makes it worse. This playthrough was me mitigating that as much as possible and it, it makes the game a lot more fun. I'd say it's a high B, in, in like the in the Kingdom Hearts like overall tier list, not separated in terms of like gameplay or story well, or other so things. I'd say I'd say it's like a mid to high B tier. I don't know if that's with Remind and Limit Cut factored in though. Alright, let's see how much we can get done in like an hour and 20 minutes. I think I'll just beat the game no matter what, even if that means I can't get McDonald. If it becomes too late for that, that's okay. I would really much like to beat the base 
game this stream so that I can start the next stream with like the remind stuff. Can't I like destroy this boss immediately with uh, like Ariel? Actually, I'll do it with um, Hero's Origin. Oh my god. I didn't realize he was attacking until I was like caught in the middle of the shit storm. <laughs> All door dashers are bitches. Whoa, where did that come from? Are they eating your fries? I see this guy still has the immediate turn red and shit shadows at you attack from 0.2. Like the only problem with this guy is that he can just do that on a dime without any any tell. Oh, fucked it up. Should be able to farm the guards pretty quickly though. Ooh, let's go. I'm dead because this attack sucks. Whatever. The the staggered spacing of the shadows there, I couldn't get out. I like this fight. I always liked it. Tell me that is a, a whatever. The restaurant I work at has DoorDash and they all shove their phone in my face and complain that shit's not ready. Oh, yeah. They just don't wait around. A lot of people who do DoorDash are like, they just do it as a side hustle to, to do like IRL side quests. So that makes sense. that damage. That's pretty cool. Yeah, my food ran out. It's not that I need it anymore or anything. Yeah, I guess if you know Demon Tide is gonna do the heartless shit, a shit heartless at you attack, then it's consistent and you can like react to it. But it, I mean, if you don't know that that's coming, then he just goes red and shits heartless at you. What 
is this? Alright, Nier Automata, bros. We all the all the devs played Nier Automata and now we have to put this in like every game. Alright. Let's go! Sleepy XX. L Bunny. Weak Wall. Matt says. Cox Dem. Wait, I've seen that name in the chat. I swear to God, I've seen that name in my chat. Magnet. Jason in all caps. Hold on. I need to like type in my chat slash user cox them. Well, there's an account name that, but it's not the one that is here. Shib is in this, but they spelt it Shin. Really? I have seen Shin in this, so let's like keep an eye out for that. Boba 77. Fill with the Uru, his cars done again. Let me see the names again. It's a looping around. Bro, I'm dying. I'm actually gonna die. I'm not looping at the. Shit, that's hitting me. It's a running joke? Oh, okay. If you actually got me with that, I would have been convinced. You can die during that. I think. You definitely can't idle it. But at the very end there, when you're just, like, waiting to do the last RC, you can just sit there forever. Better get ready. I don't need the Koopa coin anymore. I'm so juiced, I might as well just not buy that anymore. Do I have any food left? I do. Alright, let's find a new... I think the one I want right now is, um... More grand magic. Just overall increase the odds of getting them. What level am I? 48 and a half. Alright. Or this one. This one's really good too. But not for these fights. Hardy meal might actually be good for just the extra, extra MP. Extra, extra. There it is. I'll just take that one, that one's the most, like, seems the most useful. Yeah, yeah we'll be at the game tonight, no matter how long it takes. Remind will be next stream. It's not gonna be for a minute. I wonder if Magic Roulette and the more grand magic stacks. I'll I'll bet on it. The stats of this kid kinda suck, but it doesn't matter because I'm level fucking 48.
Oh, I guess I need to get through the door before it closes. Yeah, that's usually how it works, Sora. Remind is still something you have to do in the main menu, and you have to do this shit over again. Fucking Ansem looking like a goddamn uh, heart stint when he does that attack in this game. Look at the damage, wow. The bar is so easy in this. Good damn it. That was clutch. I didn't even really, even really see what was happening because I was menuing. Forgot about them. You didn't get enough last time. I'm unstoppable. I'm done with you. This would be cool with counter slash. One more. I'm too much of a counter kick enjoyer right now. It's over. Try again. You like it? Nice. Oh. Yeah. God damn, damage. That got crazy. Tents are good in this game. I like them. In this game. Not, no, this is not a speedrun. It's playing the game. I'll. So, come on. <laughs> well, Luxie takes like no damage here. You know? What's going on here? Ten hours is fast. No, the game, the speedrun in this game is like three. Though I guess I haven't played this game pretty quickly. I, this is my not my first time. Played this game once or twice. Okay, here we go. The real fight. Whoa. Alright, I forgot. 
live dangerously, Sora. The easiest fucking minigame in existence right here. That doesn't do damage to him? Oh well. Yeah, Lux would fight 1.5 bars of health and like just turn the camera to beat him. Base game is made for 7 year olds. That's why I'm usually so quick to talk shit about it. What's the matter? It's time to finish Back it. off! What's the matter? Back at you! Hey! Hey! No! Thank you, 360 guard that this form secretly has. Oh, fuck. Try and keep up. Nice. See ya. What's the matter? What's the matter? Got you now. Any last words? What's the matter? Oh, really? I'm trying to get a perfect. It's over for you. That hit both of them, I think. I don't know. I think Larkseen was I framed there, but that should have hit both of them. All oh, right, she's immune to that. I forgot about that. That's thunder. I I knew that she was immune to thunder, but I didn't realize that that attack is thunder. It's kind of fucked up that both of the shield forms have elements on them and have enemies that cannot be hit by them at all. That's kind of a mistake, Hayamo. There should be a non-elemental shield form that does that. There should be one more shield form keyblade that is non-elemental, I think. And there also should have been, you should have been able to get um, the Vanitas Keyblade to put you into anti-form or rage form on purpose. I think that would have been cool. Oh yeah, it also does make them boosted though. That is a good point. I didn't think about that either. I should start using Thunder Boost then. That would make my shit go stupid style. Yeah, too bad one that whiffed, or else they would have killed. Uh, what's the funniest way to do this? What's the funniest way to kill right now? <laughs> Took her head off with the flagpole. Okay. Shield finisher wouldn't have done it because it. Well, maybe it would if the physical contact of the horse does damage. I don't know if it does. The electric wouldn't have. Going down. Of course, Nell and Goofy are not in my party, so I can't get my Celestrad back. Where the hell is Donald, actually? Oh, I see. Switches on the floor. So these panels in the floor are switches for the doors. My my galaxy brain edit of this is like the funniest shit ever. Uh. 
Oh, shoutouts to the low to the ground glide tech. Hold circle, jump, and switch keyblade to like instantly glide. The animation cancels your jump into a glide, so it's like instant. I'll do that one last. I've never gotten this high, what the hell? You can just jump over the wall at that rate. The moon shines down. Stop it! You gotta stop! Oh, I just got domed, what the hell? Oh my god. Try and get a form before we go to the next phase or something. What was that? She just tried to do a retaliation. She got stuffed there with the fuck. Okay. Can I bring Flory into the fight too? I'll try. All right, get get into positions, everybody. Okay. Get ready. Roxas goes so crazy here. My edit here, where it's like cutting back and forth during the Remind fight, playing his Roxas and playing his sword, just taking fucking selfies, is like so good. Also, getting the fucking tea bag on camera was. It didn't take very long, surprisingly. It just kind of happened eventually. Alright, let's, let's farm for a red flurry. I could have easily gotten him off that if I pay attention. Fucking up, I'm stuck. I call on the moon's pale light. This fight is over. Abandon hope. Expire. You know what? I'm just doing it wrong. That is so much still. Get in. It's not Dino. Alright, I have to finish him. Can we get the teabag though? Let's see. Usually happens when he's against the wall like this. The moon shines down! Oh, it's too late. They got a remake days. I'm still holding out that they will. It's just like a little side thing that they do. I'd be flabbergasted if they never did, especially with what they say in Remind in the cutscene. Nothing is more satisfying to me in this game than seeing 
the red counter attack, the counter kick drill go in like that. Well, that and a perfect red flurry, of course. The thing that Remind made me realize the most is that this game actually has a good foundation to it. It's just that a lot of the more fringe interactions in the combat are like kind of busted. And a lot of the enemies suck. Oh, fuck, I just timed it. Can you lock onto the right target? Okay. I'm fucking this up. I almost lost died. Is that all? I just died. The light can muster. There will never be a 2 game again for hand to be busy on, so days has to be on the menu. That's what I'm saying. Except the darkness. What's up, Dreambo? Yeah, they, they, thank you for joining in on the fucking cope, because I swear to god they're gonna do it. I don't know about I don't know about coded. But at least days. That was not flashed up. I should be able to easily get it on this guy when he slides in. The perfect timing. If they're even targeting me at all. Which is a tall order when it's a... Uh, Aqua and Venom alive. Ooh, get fucked. Oh my god, that bubble. Oh, that was like eight health bars, dude. That was like eight health bars, bro. What the fuck? Wow. Let's go. The lore unfriendly order of killing these guys right now. Speaking of, we can get like insane counterattacks here if we get in the middle of this, don't we? Dodge this! Oh, too early for this. Despair. Oh yeah. I don't know. I think you have to be in the right spot in advance for this to work. Or not. The rest of me. Just air step into the middle then mash out square and you'll get it. I guess. I'm just gonna do that on all these guys. I think. That's gonna be the minigame right now. Night already? Huh. Yeah, when's the fucking Crisis Core tier remake of Days? Though it would be more of a full remake of sorts, just using reusing assets and KH2 graphics. But like with the way that the Switch is a handheld that you could make games for that would have that tier of graphics. They should just do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this battle gate just to get to level fifty. So that I can just slap on zero EXP and not have to worry about overshooting my levels right now. Days you're making that look like missing link. It, you know, if that's what it takes, sign me up. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. just fluttering is in orbit. Okay, here we go. Take this. I should have waited for them all to come to the center and then let it rip. I 
Yeah, this is one of the levels, just 20 more K. I don't think Days would reuse KH3 assets when he already have KH1 and KH2 assets for the worlds that Days used. We can't waste any more time here. How much money do I have? I should The others need our help. I could money grind here with those battle gates if I had rags to riches on. Where the fuck are my party members, dude? Well, I'll get to 50 later. I'm certainly not gonna accidentally get to 50 by doing the final boss. You don't get any XP here, like, at all, actually. Yeah. What did they do? What engine did they use for Melody Memories? That's... Whenever I say Days Remake is gonna have KHD graphics, that's what I think of. That's what they did there. They even made fucking KH3 Sora in KH2 graphics. Unity? Would that be suitable for a game? It probably would be. They could just use that, make a cute little cage 2 graphics game. Uh, Riku, King Mickey. I just randomly dodged that. Just spamming. I totally forgot that they were gonna show up like that. Embrace the dog. Alright, Xemnas has the football. Insolent. Can't get form change. I should be secure. Oops. I did like no damage to me because I'm so juiced right now. There we go. This guy's the biggest problem, fucking young Nord in this fight. Oh, he pushed me out of the way and then screwed up the whatever. Bro, I'm not aim oh! The I just killed Ansem. Ansem just jumped in the way of the fucking semi truck that was meant for young Xehanort. Okay. I might watch some of these cutscenes when we run back through here and remind. Is this fighting remind? Oh fuck. We got shit to do anyways. Ooh. Oh, when Sora says that. It's funny. I have one HP right now. What? Oh, he resists elements. That's why Xemnas didn't get fucking hit at all by counter shield. He resists lightning. Is this the end of your journey? That screwed me up. Realizing that. Oh yeah, shoutouts to the, uh... You'll yeah, this isn't Remind. Prevail, you know. Remind put the fucking RC here. We'll have to try and make that, um... I'll have to try and get the finishing blow with that. 
like I did in the video. Oops. I'm not in the right spot for that, okay. Oh, that was a wrist dodge. Didn't realize. Alpha. I just kill fucking young Nor, he's the biggest annoyance in this fight. And he doesn't resist the lightning, I guess. Oh, okay. Blasted. Alright, now I have to kill Zonus normally because he fucking he's a Chad, I guess. Oh fuck. Oh my god, the drive by. Literally just tapped R1 and then immediately pressed square when he said that. I was like, well, he's right behind me, isn't he? Uh, he's right behind me, isn't he? Oh, man. Damn, I have so much defense. I just tank this shit. Another one. The eyes in this form are like just too good. Oh. I'm gonna die trying to do swag. Oh, never mind. I wanted to do the fucking arrow trampoline, whatever. The ground pound. Oh. Okay. Time for final Nort. And Scala. <laughs> this is the final rest of this game. It doesn't even tell you it's the final it has rest. To be somewhere in town. I have like no items. Who cares? Don't I have a Roga? I do. This is the only game I put items on my shortcut. Because of item cancel. Do I have... how much food do I have? 15 minutes? Yeah, that should be enough. Yeah, I'll try my best to do the fucking arrow here. The arrow nuke. Cool theme. Remember the fucking uploads of the song that had like Donald walking around in it? You could like hear Donald's feet.
Keyblade Graveyard is so lame, dude. Why is it not just like straight into going here? It sucks. That the fucking lock onto the table, why don't you? 13 enemies spawn in front of me, lock into a fucking desk chair. That's cool. Alright. Walked onto a fucking awning. Such a weird fight. Or are they cooking? I have a better idea. You know there's a DM here that you never see. Thought I was gonna see all of them show up, but not like two of them over here. Weird ass fight. Why do these have lock on points, dude? Cut content. Like maybe I'm gonna stall for the DM. Why not? I wonder how long it takes. So the remind stuff kicks in? Uh no, it's like a whole new episode that just is a, a redo of the fucking end game. That's where uh, remind kicks in. It's very separated off of the base game. How long does it take for the DM? Stalling for the DM right now. Oh, fuck, long does this take, dude? They're almost all dead. Oh, yeah, Trinity Guard, yeah. That makes sense here. Yeah, the, the loop in this song sounds fine. Just that the song itself is not like, right, here we go. Here's this shit. In case you've never seen this before. Like most. Oh, fuck. They're not going to come over here, are they? I'm going to have to find them. I can't use this as a finisher. Go, go, go! Unfortunately. I wonder, can they take damage during the DM? I probably could have used it there. I just didn't remember what the DM was to actually use it. Maybe I'll get another one. Let me try farming it off of Goofy. I'll, like stand next to him, and maybe the meter will fill. Thank you. I'm probably gonna die trying to fucking do this stupid shit right now. Hold on. Nice. You know what? Just kill him. Fuck it. Got him.
Probably could have killed him instantly if I got the arrow to work, but I locked onto a fucking chair instead. Oops. Doesn't this fight have like an infinite combo you can do? I'm just gonna go first. Critical counter. Oh, Don't grab me. Oh, I thought I could fall out of it KH1 style. I got a potion just in time. Whoa. That was crazy. What the fuck did the JP Cage Slayer just retweet? What did they retweet? That was not counter shield. Oops. Yeah, I was waiting for him to do the spinny bobber opener. Tenacity. I was gonna say. Come on. He just opens with whatever he wants. That's weird. Parasite Eve? What about it? What are they retweeting? What are they cooking? You know, um, the only fun fact I know about that here is um, the pro tag from that game was originally going to be where Aerith was in KH1. But, like, they changed it or something. That's not what I wanted to Aerith step to. Okay. Okay. I guess I'm going down here now. Oh my fucking god, dude. Too bad I didn't hit more. Thank you. Almost skipped to this DM. Please stop stun locking me, I'm running out of my meter. Try to switch keyboards there. Damn. I should just let it rip. What an awkward fight. You know what? There we go. Time for the best phase. The underwater phase that is here, I guess. I learned how to deal with this properly a while ago. Combos in. Do this hit from all the way over here? Oh no, it's over here. You can guard that. You can guard everything under here, actually. Blaze. Okay. 
Thank God I'm level 49. I can just kind of do whatever the fuck I want. There's no other part of the game that controls like this. Where you're like flying around like this. It's kinda interesting. Oh, the grab? That looks really cool with the fucking drip sora mod, I gotta say. I'm whoa, I'm alive. How did I live that? The fact that critical counter applies to finishing blow or final blow or whatever is crazy. Crazy good. Bring counter shield to the last phase here. Bonk. Yeah, I'm playing Remind after this. Not this stream, but... I will be um, doing everything up to Yozora and Yozora, of course. This is a full playthrough of the game. Come on over here. Oh, I fucked it up. You would have slipped out of it, anyways. Here we go. Making quick work of this guy. I'm also like. Remember when you guys were like, oh, maybe we're not gonna beat this game tonight? This is like exactly how long I imagined this would take us to get to this point here. Do you have to sit through the credits in this game? No? Okay, cool. I can't even really flurry him here well because of, um, he just teleports all over the place constantly. This is a very cool looking final boss, so the, the setting of it's pretty sick. Fighting on a big fucking sigil like this above Scala is pretty cool. He teleported out of that Faraza. Oh! He stole my bombardier. Oh! Time. I love this mod. The way it interacts with this form is so stupid, I love it. It used to be so bad at this phase, I thought it was bullshit. Until Remind taught me how to actually play this game in a 1v1 context properly. Does critical mode make this part take longer, filling the meter, or is it just like a gimmick thing? Also, it doesn't help that the reprisal for anti Sora here is like really awkward. The hitbox goes like it hits behind Zaynort and just barely connects. I love when the fucking camera does that instead of doing the proper zoom out. When it just like tracks Sora without being locked on, it's so cool. That's the better looking version of that. 
This is why counter kick, counter kick is goaded, by the way. Also, did you just see my fucking quick slash iframes there? That's the second time I've ever seen it work. Or noticed it, rather. Oh, really? That was like... Right is his RV, okay. It's not like you gotta finish your game here or anything. I'm so pissed I had to cut the audio out of this part of the fucking Cage 3 experience. That was the one thing that got snagged by copyright. One fucking month after I posted the Cage 3 experience, Sony decided to start copywriting the Kill a Kill soundtrack. There's just a fucking stupid muted part of the fucking video. I can't do anything about. I should just like re-upload that part of that video as like a standalone and link it. I don't know. Oh right, this is, I, I had my fucking controller up to the microphone so that you could hear them through the controller. This is the PC version, dude. PC version. I didn't notice it my first time around because I had my fucking headphones on, dude. Couldn't hear it through the controller. Also, this part looks like shit because he's in like 15 FPS for some weird reason. Bro, the, the fucking Kill a Kill song I used here was perfect, too. God. The timing was perfect. I have to re-upload that. So shoutouts to my edit where like during the middle of his monologue Sora just pulls out a gun and shoots him and then it ends the scene. I am a good guy now. Enough. Why? Bang. How? It's over now. You lost. Pipe falling sound effect. That would have been so good. No, look. You are Yeah, whatever. Fuck this guy. Enough. Parry the fucking monologue. I need a soundboard with shit like that. The only one I have right now is the Dark Souls parry sound effect that also skips people's alerts. We'll watch this, at least. Why not? If I'm lucky, I might just be able to pick up some McDonald. If it's even open, my bum ass McDonald's closes. Yeah, remind abilities. The game should have had them by default. It's crazy that they weren't in by default. How'd they fuck that up for like the third mainline game in a row? Having a vanilla version with dog shit Sora basic swings. Car jump scare.
this as a secret ending is lame compared to one and two. I actually disagree. Because this, you gotta think, this is the first secret ending. All the Kenny Mars games had two secret endings. One of them that was like a short, abbreviated, what the fuck is going on ending that was included in vanilla. And then Final Mix slash Remind adds like a new thing. Remind's secret ending was playable, and it was the fucking coolest boss fight ever, Yozora. As well as, you know, all the cutscenes associated with that. That's KH3. Base KH3 in two streams. Can you believe it? Hey, Oblivion. Cool. That's Vexen. <laughs> no way. I'd kill myself. If melody of Master of Masters of Melody of Memory of Master. If Melody of Memories was the fucking it was Vexen, I'm just gonna start calling it Melody of Memories because the acronym fucks me up in my head. And there's your report. We got 50 out of the 90 album. That's pretty good for mostly just flying through the game. 11 hours. Not bad. Pretty good. Pretty good. Alright, I better get the fuck out of here so that maybe I'll be able to pick up a goddamn quarter pounder and a fry. Maybe. If I'm lucky. How the fuck do I leave? Oh yeah, here we go. Very good session. I can't believe I got the fucking EXP grind uh, exploit to work that well. That was so cool. That was the highlight of the stream. But I better get out of here quick. Thank you guys for watching. Um, next stream we'll have Remind. I might... I'm trying to... figure out... What we're gonna all be doing next stream, what we all, what I'm gonna be doing next stream in terms of like how I'm gonna structure it. I might like first like hour of it might be like prepping for a remind, like getting some keyblade upgrades and all the emblems for Oathkeeper and then starting remind. I'll think about it. Uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys over to Asa. He's back from his trip to Japan. He's playing some Valley in Valorant. Good old game. I haven't rated him in a while. And I'll see y'all in, if not tomorrow, in a couple days. I don't know. I can't say when I'll be live next. I never know. But soon, we will start reminding whatever the fuck else is going to be attached to that stream. <laughs>